person. You're here today because you want what? To find out my daughter is biologically mine. And before the show today, you took a, a DNA test and you also took a lie detector yes, test, right? I believe in my heart that's my daughter. I told him there's a possible chance that she could not be your... I signed her original birth certificate. So About there's you. no way in the world that's that not, Richard's that, no, the father? No, She don't want children at all. She doesn't want to be a mom. I do love my kids. And for him to sit there and say that I don't is a daggone lie. She took the pacifier to her mouth. She was a newborn. Because she wouldn't stop crying? I she, didn't think that you was You thought enough wrong. that you wanted her to stop crying. I'll put a pacifier and tape her mouth shut. Please stand up. I have reason to believe for her to cry like that, I want to know she's being touched. You gonna sit there and tell all these people that I be touched? You know I ain't do that. And I don't know if you're ever gonna find a man that loves your daughter as much as Richard. Trust me, I'm taking my daughter. You trust and believe that. I'm walking out of here today with my child. The results of your DNA test is that Richard Welcome to the show. My guest is Richard. Richard, you call the show. Yes, sir. Why are you here? I called the show to find out if my child that I've been taking care of is biologically mine. The mother stated in a scheduled court hearing that we had that the child is not mine. And therefore, I would like to find out if she is mine or not. Okay, so you're with this woman, and who is she to your girlfriend? Or? She was an ex-girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. Yes, sir. And how long were you with her? For like a couple months. Just a few months? Yes, sir. And she becomes pregnant? Yes, sir. She tells you she's pregnant? Yes, sir. You're happy about it? Yes, sir. Is this going to be your first child? Yes, sir. And she has the baby. And what, does she have a little girl? Yes, sir. At the time this is all going on, anything that she does or the baby, you look at the baby, baby, nothing gives you a doubt that this is not your baby. You think this is my child? I believe it's my child. I signed her original birth certificate. Why did you guys break up? Because she was immature. I realized that as time went on. Well, what was she doing that immature that caused you to say, eh, I better give it a second thought? She had a child, like I said, which is a son, and therefore, like, certain things she wouldn't do to me that a mother should do. Like, she would spend time, spend, spend a night at my house, and therefore, I would, like, ask her questions, like, why don't you get up? You hear your son crying. Why don't you get up and attend to him? And how old was the, the other child at the at time? At the time, he was, like, a couple, I say, like, six months. So you, you see she's not getting up. Her older child is crying. You're like, hey, why wouldn't you get up when your son's crying? Just gives you, and, and then your daughter comes along. But I didn't know about this child being born. But you had a clue that she was pregnant. Uh, sir, I had a clue that she was pregnant. And all we this talked time. About, we talked about getting an abortion, and she stated to me that she was going to get the abortion. Okay. So that's the last impression that so I had in my mind. So you, right, so you didn't even think that this child she was, was going to carry the pregnancy. Yes, sir. She was going to terminate it. So when you find out now, you've broken up, you haven't seen her, you're kind of shocked that she went and had the baby. Yes, sir. When you find out from this person on the street, you have a baby, what's your reaction? My reaction was, wow. The first thing I did, I said, where is she at? I went right to the address she gave me, and I went to go see my daughter. And, and then from there, I intervened and tried to spend as much time as I could with her. It, until she was six months old, my daughter was placed with a family member in Trinidad, Tobago. And how long was your daughter over there? For a, a year and a half, sir. And for a year and so a half. So you didn't get to see your baby for a year and a half? No, sir. Did you, did you? I called, I called the embassy in Trinidad, Tobago, and trying to ask these people, like, could I fly over there to come see her? They're like, well, we don't have any documentation stating who you are. You're just an alleged father. But you say your name was on the birth certificate. I right? signed the original birth certificate. She stated to me that her lighted my name off, off the original birth certificate. So, so it's got to be pretty hard on you for a year and a half. You don't get to I see didn't, your child. I, I didn't even get to see her grow up. You understand? Like, as far as being a baby, that's something that a father would want to be there for, to watch their child grow up. If it was my first child, I wanted to beat her, sir, but I wasn't able to beat her because of her. Did she ever tell you she was going to do this? No, sir. Did she ever come to you and say, hey, uh, my, my child's going to be taken away. Can you help me out? No, sir. So she didn't even give you a chance to... No say, here, why don't you take no, our daughter? No, she didn't give me the opportunity. What happened to your daughter at the shelter? At, at the shelter where she was standing at, the mom, she taped a pacifier to her mouth. Your ex-girlfriend She taped a pacifier to her mouth when she was a newborn because she wouldn't stop crying. And is that why they were going to take yes, sir. your baby? Okay. 
at some point now, the question is, is she my child? Whether you're really the father. And why did she, why did all of a sudden she bring that issue up? Because when we went to our last scheduled hearing, she stated to to the court officials that I'm not the father, and she was raped. Did she? When you're dating her, right? Yes, you're sir. You're dating her when she becomes pregnant. Yes, sir. She ever mentioned to you come home crying, no, hysterical, sir. no signs of physical violence. No. Hey, by the way, Richard, I was raped today. No. What was your relationship with her, her name's Tenille? Yes, sir. At first, we, we met at, at like a career link center, and therefore, like, that's how we established like a friendship. And at first, it was, it was, it was all right. But then as time went on, I realized as a person, like, she, she wasn't all the way there adequate as far as being responsible, taking care of children. She, and I want to say to everybody, she does not want children. But she, she had a son already. Yes, yeah, sir, but she does not want to take care of children. Now, I got to ask you, Richard, you, you seem like a nice guy, and you seem like you're a very caring guy. Why would you sleep with somebody who doesn't seem like they care about children? Why would you take a chance of bringing a child into the world uh, with I this made, woman? I made a poor decision. <laughs>
So you saying Tennille stole your daughter's chain? Yes, sir. She said her brother took it. How can, how can a little boy take a, a necklace that's teeny, take it off her neck? You're here today because you want what? To find out look, my daughter is biologically mine. And you want to keep her, right? Yes, sir. Does, does Tennille want custody of her daughter? She don't want children at all. She doesn't have her son. She doesn't have her son. She doesn't even want, she doesn't want kids, period. She doesn't even want to be a mom. Well, why does she keep having kids? I don't know. Well, what I want to do, Richard, I'm going to ask you to leave the stage. I'm going to talk to Tennille, and I'm going to give you a chance to come out and talk to her, okay? I do love my kids. And for them to sit there and say that I don't is a daggone lie. Because if I didn't love my kids, I wouldn't be working so hard to get them back. I have reason to believe for her to cry like that, I want to know she's being touched. And you also took a lie detector yes, test, right? Takes the lie detector test, and it comes back. How you doing, Tanel? I'm not good at all. And why aren't you good? Because I hate liars. I hate liars. I told him from when I got raped. Oh, that's something that I'm embarrassed of. It's not something, oh, I got raped. Ha! Huh. That's not something you sit there and you tell the word. Hold on a second. Did you tell Richard? Yeah, no, I did not, because it's something that I was embarrassed of and it's something I was dealing with at the time. I told him. I told him there's a possible chance that she could not be yours before anything was brought up in court. I told him this. It's something I've been dealing with in therapy. You understand? When I did what I did to my daughter, but the, the whole pacifier thing, is because I, I had two kids back to back. I had chronic well, depression. Well, hold on a second. But you taped the pacifier? Yes, I know I was wrong. How, I know that listen, I was wrong. Listen, listen, wrong? How do you even... I was how dead did you, wrong. I, I, okay, you were dead wrong. But how does a mother... I mean, really... I was How not even, even in a stable I, mind. I don't care if you were in an unstable mind. How do you think that taking tape and covering a child's mouth, how in the hell is that any idea at all for a mother to think of? <laughs> Tell me how you actually did it. That's what I want to know. How, uh, how did, did you use duct tape? Did you use scotch tape? I don't even remember what kind of tape that I used because, like I said, I was unstable then. And you taped the whole pacifier around no, the mouth? No, it just across her mouth. You put tape across the mouth with the pacifier in the yeah. mouth? Yeah. Do you think, maybe I could choke my child to death by doing this? I didn't think. That's the point. I didn't think. Like I said, I know that you I was You thought wrong. enough that you wanted her to stop crying. I'll put a pacifier and tape her mouth shut. <laughs> So you taped this pacifier to your baby's mouth. What happened? From there, I don't remember. You don't remember anything? No. Did somebody come and say? Some, I remember the next morning or whenever it was, it was a staff member at the shelter came in, and she saw it. And she said that I'm going to have to call the Department of Human Services. And I was so messed up in my head that I just didn't care. But when did the I baby saw, sleep with the pacifier in her mouth all night long, with no, the tape in no. her mouth? How long did it she have a tape? It, it was only for like maybe two hours. And so you wake up, they find this horrific thing, they notify Children's Services, and your baby, they take your baby away from you. My grandmother called me, maybe within five hours after it happened. I did notify Richard. He sat there and was like, "Well, I don't know what to tell you." You told him they're taking our baby away. Yes, I did tell him that. He was like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm like, what do you mean? You run around telling the whole world that that's your daughter, but you can't go down there and get her? You can't go down there and take her? You know what? I'm trying. I'm like, I'm listening to the story, and I'm, I'm really trying. I try to keep my emotions in check, but you taped the pacifier in a baby's mouth. Please stand your ass up. <laughs> So
So let me get this straight. You're you're seeing Richard, right? You guys are dating. We were. You were dating, and you and you have another child before this. Yes. And Richard says, not really a good mother. Didn't really care about his son. Let him That's cry in the lie. night. Didn't That's get up. That's a lie. So you say you're a good mother. I am a good mother because in my phone is all pictures, videos, times that I sat there and played with my children. Pictures and videos of your hold, child no, doesn't make you a good mother. No, hold up. Now, if I'm not a good mom, I wouldn't make sure that my kids come before me. It had days that I was looking a mess. Hair not done, no, the clothes that I had on was just dirty, but my kids looked good. My kids ate every day. I made sure that my kids was very well taken care of. Even for Christmas, like, I bought my, do my daughter that brand new door house that just came out. I bought my son a little bike. He, that's what they asked for, and I got it for him. I could tell you the day that my daughter got her first tooth. I could tell you the day she crawled. I could tell you the day she walked. I could tell you everything that I need to know about my child. I know her favorite color. I know what makes her smile. I love my daughter to death, even if she is a rape baby. I love her to death. Anything that my son wanted, I got it for him. I never wore name brand a day in my life, but my kids wore it. I do love my kids. And for him to sit there and say that I don't, is a daggone lie. Because if I didn't love my kids, I wouldn't be working so hard to get them back. So when he cried in the night, you did get up and go I got up every night. Every time. Losing my mind, don't know what to do. Because I'm a new mom with two kids. Tanil, let me ask you a question. If you were this young woman and you felt overwhelmed when you had a son, why would you turn around not even a year later and have another baby? I have reason to believe for her to cry like that, I want to know she's being touched. She proves that that's not your child. Trust me, I'm taking my daughter. You trust and believe that. I'm walking out of here today with my child. The results of your DNA test is that Richard So there's no way in the world That's that not, Richard's that, no, the father. No. Did you ever afterwards tell Richard, you know what, I need to tell you something. You keep thinking you're the father, I got to tell you something. And every time I tried to, he would always cut me off. It had days where he came up there to see her. He would bring another female to the shelter. He would bring all his little guy friends. I'm like, I'm not going to just tell you all of this in front of your friends. I was like, we need to sit down and talk. We need to sit down because it's something that I need to tell you. It had times where I'm calling him on the phone, he's not answering his phone. It had times he didn't even have minutes on his so phone. So you could never spit out, you never had a chance, hey, this child is not yours, I was physically assaulted, I was raped, it's not your baby. When I did tell him that was when I was in Philadelphia and he was already in Pittsburgh. And who has your child now? He does. Why? Because I tried to establish a good relationship in case he was the father because I told him I wanted a paternity test to be sure. And I wanted to, and let's say he is the father. I want them to get to know each other. I want to give it the benefit of the doubt. Because if he is, if it comes back and he is, then hell yeah, I want them to have a good relationship. I, I, I just, you stand on stage and again, I don't know what your thought process is, but you say, I love my baby even though it's a rape baby. Wouldn't you at least grasp or hold on to the fact that Richard could be the father instead of saying, I love my baby even though it's a rape baby? It is the possibility, you said yourself, that he could be the father. He could be. Now, but the reason I don't know why I look at I, it, I don't know why. The reason why I look at it as she could be a rape baby. Okay, hold on a second. I understand because you said what happened to you. But here's a guy who comes out, seems very likable guy. I mean, yeah, that's, maybe I'm that's wrong. That's just for you. Maybe that's I'm, just for you. Maybe it's just for me. But I don't know. When he looked at your daughter, I don't think he faked those tears. Could be wrong. I will say this. I will I mean, say this, let, though, Steve. I just want to say, I don't think he faked those tears. He seems he genuine. He does love her. He does. He does love her. He does have I know your, he, does he does love her. He does have but your me, daughter. But me, he hates me. He hates me. It happens. Okay? And you know what? Fine. Hate me. You have the right to. 
You understand? I'm not saying he doesn't have the right to. If, he has the right to. If you to. tape the pacifier in my daughter's mouth, I'd hate you too. Okay, that's what I'm saying. You have the right to. But that does not give you the right to sit there and hit my son. Give my daughter weed or my son. One of the two. I understand people, you don't like him, he doesn't like you, and you want to throw dirt on him, and you're saying he wants to throw dirt on you. But I'm not to say, throwing dirt, you know I'm what? just speaking the truth. You're not speaking the truth. And, you know, you, you come out here and you're this strong, proud woman, and you do everything for your kids, and you keep it together, and you can buy presents, and they look good, and I don't buy uh, brand-name clothes, my kids do, and they look good, and, you know, all the <laughs> that doesn't even matter, you know, the only thing that matters is your kids love you, they feel protected, they feel that they, they you're going to be protected. there for them. I don't know how to feel protected when mommy's taping tape to your face. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying is I understand you, you got a tough life. You say you were uh, physically assaulted by some guy, that he, you know, that it could be a rape baby and everything. But I don't get it. When you have a man that says, you say, he loves his child, he wants to be the father, he wrote his name on the birth certificate for you, for your child, for everybody's interest, wouldn't it be best just to say, yep, you're the father, Richard. Why would you ever enter in a possibility for a child to know you're a rape baby? Here's a man that's willing to be where so many times you, the men don't even want to be in a damn child's life. Here you have a guy saying, my daughter, I love her, I'll do anything for her. The child gets taken away for a year. He's still there. He's not running, man. He's, he's hunting it down. He wants the child. I understand you have another accusation against Richard? Yeah, I do. What is it? Uh, well, when I did see my daughter the day that he said that I disrespected him and took her necklace and whatever else he sent her with. Right. Actually, if I did take the necklace, I would have it. I took the necklace and put it around her brother's neck because the day that her brother seen her, which was in like two months, the both of them was highly upset. My daughter, I sat there, was trying to do her hair and she would not stop crying. When I kept saying, baby girl, what's wrong? She stand up on me, put her hands out like this and said, he hit me. Who? Richard. Why? Because I pee peed on myself. I'm like, excuse me? Okay, but no, how, but you can see the, the scars necklace, on though. You took the necklace and you put it on your son. Why'd you do that? Because he asked for it, and she wanted him to have it. <laughs> he was like, she said, Mommy, I want brother to well, have wait, this. At what point do you be the adult and say, no, your dad bought that for you. He'll be upset. You're two years old. First of all, I don't believe a two-year-old's talking like that. <laughs> okay. to what you want to believe, but I'm going to tell I'm you this. I'm only telling you what I believe as you a man, know, as a father, because, as to, dealing with children, I think everybody saw on screen. I don't think your daughter came in and said, oh, I'm crying, 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 and he hit me, I peed on myself. Here, give my chain to my brother. First of all, she said there to me, I, she, her brother said, mommy, I want something to keep to remember my sister since I can't be with my sister. And I was like, okay, well, well why don't you... While you're on the way to I a said, foster okay. home, here's a chain. No, I said, okay, why don't you take the pictures that the staff member told me that Richard sent for him? I said, why don't you take the pictures? She said, mommy, give him this. I don't believe it. You're entitled to what you want to believe. Put it like this. My kids have never been separated this long. And because of him, they are separated this long. It's his fault. Yeah, he's the one that gave my son the black eye. He's the one. He told the, the one. The guy that you just said about 10 minutes ago, he's a real good father. He takes really good care of he her. He takes care of her. But because him, the boy. Because that's not his child? You give my son a black eye, you hit him in the face with a stick? Because it, it's not his child. It's not his child. But my so the daughter could that, not be his child, too. And son, you're saying he knows that. Okay. How come he, he knows doesn't that, abuse but her? But he loves her more than he loves him. Why? I don't know. Ask him that. Did you ever touch your daughter in an inappropriate manner? He answered no. Takes the lie detector test and it comes back. Trust me, I'm taking my daughter. You trust and believe that. I'm walking out of here today with my child.
The results of your DNA test is that Richard... Tomorrow, I can feel the hurt coming out of you. I think my husband's cheating on me. I got the little girl on the phone, and she told me, I'm 16, they have sex in my house. You're hurting me. You're killing me inside. I can't imagine my life without you. Did you realize you are about to lose me? For years you've been lying to know. me. Before the show, he took a lie detector test, and the results is that tomorrow, you say that Richard gave your son the black eyes, right? Yes. Okay. He comes home. He, Richard says, "Your little boy, who he's taking care of, right? He's he's he, he takes him home." This is what happened. No, just answer the question. Yeah, did he, he did. So you let this guy, who you thought gave your son black eyes. You sent them home. You sent your son Well, when them. he left, he didn't have a black eye. Okay. So he, Richard, notices the black eyes, takes, takes them to uh, a caseworker, says that his mother, your son, says, you hit him in the eye and you pushed him into his dresser. That's what your son's saying. And your son stated he feels scared when he is with his mother. He was taken to an emergency room and was evaluated. Well, when I go on a visit, it's something totally different. My son enjoy every visit with me. The last couple visits, I even bought food. I mean, I bought him food. I that's, bought him a that's movie. That's wonderful. You mean? I Children him, do tend to eat. I mean, I bought him food and I bought him a movie. Me and him sat there, had a good time. He was riding me up and down like a horse on top of my back, climbing all over me like he always does. My son is very playful. Sounds like my weekend with my children. You I understand? Them and, food, from, and from birth, I got my them son movie, slept next to me. And they crawled all over me. <laughs> and in the process, my son didn't get two black eyes. <laughs> what else are you claiming about Richard? Now, I have reason to believe for her to cry like that for hours, I want to know she's being touched. Point blank, period. She was with me and cried for hours. But your solution was just to give the chain to your son. To make everybody stop crying. No. That's what you said. I said she wanted him to have it, and he wanted it. Everything happened when, I, when that visit happened. That was the first time I seen my daughter in two months. Two months. And why is that? Because he refused to even let me see her. How did he refuse you? When I asked him, he was like, no. He had you his... You don't seem like the type of woman that just takes no real easily. <laughs> I don't. When's the last time you saw your daughter? I haven't seen my daughter. In... The last time I seen my daughter was at that visit. That was about two, three weeks ago. Okay. You have any evidence at all that Richard abuses your daughter? And uh, other than this one visit where she cried? She had a bruise on her leg, Steve. They saw it. The, did, C, the uh, CYF people saw it. They took her to the did hospital. You, did you take her to the hospital? Yes, they took her to the Do hospital. Do you have that report? Did you bring that report with no, you? No, they didn't give me a copy of that report yet. What if, what if Richard passes a lie detector test on all these allegations? What then if he passes? I, if he passes, he passes. If he passes, he passes. You're if making passes, all these I'm, allegations if he passes, against him. If he passes, then I'll have to look into a deeper reason why my daughter is upset. Why is my daughter always crying? Why is my daughter sitting there telling me that he hits her when he doesn't? Maybe, I, I'll give you one reason why maybe your daughter's crying, because she's being shuffled off to person to person. <laughs> maybe she cries because one of the few things she has in this life, a little chain that her dad gave her, you took away. You gave it that to was somebody else. That was before I even took the chain. The point that was is, I even took you know the what? Chain. You're asking why, and I'm giving you reasons why. Okay, I understand. You can't give me one good reason why. Now, what if it comes back, Richard, he took a DNA test before the show. What if it comes back that he is the biological father of this child? If he is, then we will, I will try to get joint custody. We both have custody of her, so we both get to see her.
she proves that that's not your child, trust me, I'm taking my daughter. You trust and believe that. I'm walking out of here today with my child. The results of your DNA test is that Richard... Let's, let's bring out Richard. Richard, I'm sure you've been backstage and been listening to a lot of this. Is there anything at all you want to address off the top of your head? Now, you going to sit there and tell all these people that I be touching that I put a black eyes on Come on, man, cut that short. You know I ain't do that. You just sit there and tell everybody in the world that I be raping her, that I be having sex with her. Come on, man, that's just foul, cuz. Real talk, you know I ain't, I'm not sleeping with her. What I'm gonna do is sleep with a two-year-old. What I look like? But you say you never touched her. All right, come on, cuz. I never touched Sexually, cuz, what's wrong with you? So you said that so, I put the I put so, the black eyes on your son. Yes, my son I put the black eyes. Told well, that's me that. why you don't got him right now. That's why he in foster care because they know you did it. First of all, I didn't do it. So why do you why do you why don't you have him? Because you got him to say that I did I got, it. I got I so I yes, told so I told a three year old boy to say your mom put the black eyes on you. Maybe that, he was that, high. Don't, that don't even sound right. <laughs> Now, we did give Richard a lie detector test, and he was asked, did you ever touch your daughter in an inappropriate manner for your own sexual gratification? He answered, no. Did you ever, did you ever hit your daughter with excessive force? And you answered, no. And he takes the lie detector test, he answers the question, and it comes back that Richard's told the truth. You just found out he passes a lie detector test. He didn't sexually abuse your daughter. He doesn't physically abuse your daughter. And no, I've been accusing you of this. I've been telling everybody, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've been saying that about you. Did that ever cross your mind? We're just here to pin blame, make stories up, wild accusations. No, no apology to the man? I apologize. It ain't genuine, though. It's good. Only you can accept it. Any, anything else you want to say to each other before I read these DNA results? No, sir. No. And your feelings aren't going to change nope. whatsoever man, towards your daughter. Job, man. And you want to raise this little yep, girl. To the best of my ability, and I'm going to request to adopt your son. You're not going to get him. We'll see I'll make sure that. Mm -hmm. And if she proves that but you know, not let your me, child, hey, Tina, I'm would, taking my child. I want to ask you a simple question. You can't. If, if he wanted to raise your son and, and raise your daughter, and if you're not able I've to or capable, been there for, I was always you're not been always there for, my, there for your children. You're when not. I, when I had my kids, I always made sure that they were okay. But I love my children to death. Your kids. I love my children to I don't, death. I don't doubt that for one second. You you're understand? Not always there. I was the one that almost died giving birth to my son. I was the one that gave birth to her early. If she proves that that's not your child, trust me. Mm -hmm. I'm taking my daughter. Take her. I'm you gonna trust and believe that. I'm walking out of here today with my child. I'm not going to debate whether you, you say you were raped. I say I believe you. No reason to lie about that. It's got to be horrific what you went through. Nobody's debating that. We're going to say you're telling the truth. I believe you 100% on that. But as you say yourself, it's possible that he could be the biological father, right? Yes. Now, I want to ask you, in your heart, your feeling, you know your daughter, you pick her up, you love your daughter to death, who do you believe is the father of, that, of your daughter? In your heart, who do you believe is the father? Man, that raped me. All right. Are you opposed? Do you wish that Richard's not the father? Yeah, I do. Why? You would rather have... <laughs> The because man I'm that not this gonna have, to? I'm not going to have a, my daughter with a man that's not her father. You, you hold this little girl, and I know it doesn't make a difference to you. It's your daughter. And hey, man, I give you all the gratitude in the world for taking care of a little girl.
But in, in your heart, you must have a feeling whether she is your biological daughter, right? Yes, sir. And w how do you feel? From when I first seen her, that she's mine. You know that she's yours. Even if it, if it, com if it comes back that he's not the biological father, <laughs> you wouldn't want Richard raising that child. No. Sometimes, and I don't know the results of this test, but sometimes you gotta rise above it all. When it comes to your children, you gotta get past the pettiness you have to get past the personal feelings for you have to, for each other. You really do have to rise above it all for your child. And really, if, if you have this man who shows such great emotion that is there for your child, he's, he's, he's there, he's loving. He's saying, I don't care if this baby's mine or not. I love this child. I want to raise him. He's actually there. Wouldn't you say, yeah, I want my child, but you know what? I'm gonna give, I'm gonna do my daughter the best thing I can and say, yeah, that's your father. He wants to be daddy, he's a good guy, let if him be daddy. If he wanted to be daddy, he would have. He is, he's got her. When he goes home, he has her. He's being daddy. Are you sure you want me to read these results? Yes. You sure? Yes. You want me to read them? Yes. What about you? The results of your DNA test is that Richard, you are not the father. <laughs> Stay here. Does it really matter? No, I don't, man. She's still my daughter. I know. I know, man. And I know that's got to be hard. I know it's got to be hard. But think about that little girl. All she knows is you. All she knows is you. There's no other faces. You're daddy. You got to be tough, man. Which, I know it hurts. But you can't let it make a difference. You can't make, let it make a difference. Have a seat. I'm gonna go out and we'll talk to Tanil, all right? You calm down, all right? You calm down, I'm gonna go talk to her, all right? <laughs> no, this is this is a TV show. And when this show's over, everybody's gonna go on their lives. Guests, people watching at home, you, Richard. But I'm telling you something right now. This is a man that loves your daughter. And I don't know if you're ever gonna find a man that loves your daughter as much as Richard. And you're lucky to be in a position where things are tough for you. No, I already know. But it's, it's like, I needed to know. I know you need to know. I needed to know. You know what? I'm and you know what? It hurts even more. Two wrongs do not make a right. So for you to just stop me and my entire family from seeing my child, it's wrong. It has nights that I go to sleep crying because from day one, my kids slept in the bed with me. Yeah, I know who was wrong, but you know what? I'm attached to both of my children. Those are all I have. When I lost them the first time, it damn near killed me. And I'm not going to lose him again, not to anybody. Listen to me. Honestly, I want what's best for your daughter. I want I what's best do. for her, too. I'm sure you do. And I think Richard does. So all three of us are in agreed, agreed that we want what's best for your daughter. So what if, what if we get you some counseling? We give you parenting classes. We give Richard parenting classes. Let's, from this point on, let's not say he did this, I did that. Let's, I let's say... What can I do to be better for my child? <laughs> do you agree to that? You want to go back and, and talk to Richard? No, listen. 
I'm not gonna be hard because I know let's, he's hurt. Let's he's been you just tell Richard right, and let's work together for your daughter. All right. I'm so sorry. I'm so so sorry. Can you find your heart to forgive me? Oh no, man, you know how I feel right now, man. Cause I believe that was my first child, God. Tanil, you, you. Richard? It's your daughter. It is your daughter. And she's saying she's sorry. And she's saying she'll work forward to do what's best for your daughter. And I'm not saying you have to accept her apology or. I know you went through a lot. But I think right now, you gotta do what's best for your daughter. And if she's extending an olive branch here to make the peace with you. And she's agreed to go, go for parenting classes and get you counseling and give you parenting classes too because we could all use it, right? Okay. Do you guys agree to that? Yes. All right, let's go. of slide detector test and it says extreme deception indicated <laughs> the little girl said to you that papa did this to her yep she told me you touched that little girl you you're disgusting did you molest? Absolutely not, girl? Steve. I saw you got a date with her. Touching her. Oh, yeah. Does that feel good, little girl? You saw him doing this? He's a lame maggot. They are saying that your father molested your daughter. The truth's gonna come out! Who touched my daughter then? You did! Have you ever sexually abused your granddaughter? <laughs> Did you tell your daughter to say that John sexually abused her? And it says extreme deception indicated. You made my stomach turn! I'm here today to stop Joe's lies. Our relationship lasted two months. He denies it. He says it was just a fling. He is denying it because he has a girlfriend and I found out when I was two months pregnant. He promised me a family and now obviously that dream was gone. Recently, Joe and I had sex. It happened because he said that he loved me and wanted a family with my daughter and I, and I believed his lies. I have proof that I slept with Joe. I have a picture of him. I have his pajama bottoms. I recently told his girlfriend that Joe and I slept together. His girlfriend is the one that supports him. He doesn't have a job. He does not support financially support my daughter. The worst thing is him saying that my daughter was getting touched by my father. The day I came out, Joe kept on giving me restrictions that my dad cannot see my daughter. My dad is a very loving, caring, honest guy. He would never, ever put his hands on my daughter. Honestly, I really don't know if he coached my daughter or not because he lies so much that I don't know what to believe anymore. He's ruining my life and he's ruining my father's life and at the same time, he's ruining my daughter's life. I know for a fact that my dad will pass his lie detector test. What I think should happen to Joe if he fails the lie detector test, I think he should burn and hell. All right, Joe, that's uh, a woman on the tape that you had an affair with. She's a, she's a big liar. She's and she wants to see you burn in hell. I, exactly, I want to see her burn in hell too. But, but just a seems... short time ago, there was no burning in hell. There was hot, passionate love no, or sex no, or whatever you want to call it. Not at all. Not at all, Steve. Did you have an affair no, with Jocelyn? No, I didn't. She you never, is ever ne slept with her? Uh, back, back like four years ago, I Okay, did. four years ago, you slept with her and you had a child with her. Yes. Okay. She's here today because she's saying... Yeah, that happened so many years ago, but you've been sleeping with her the no, last few months. No, no, no I, I understand that. 
but she's saying that on the tape. And, and she's alive. She makes, she's ma saying that you are accusing her father of molesting and your he daughter. Did. He did. I know he did. He did. And how I do have, you know he molested your daughter? Because a two-year-old is not going to come your up. Your daughter's two. My, my daughter is going on three, actually. She's not going to come up and say, Papa touched my cuckoo and my hiney. When it, it, she it, said this to you. She said that to me and my girlfriend, Tammy. So when your almost three-year-old daughter says this to you, I, what I'm do you shocked. do? I'm, I'm hurt. I'm, I'm really hurt. Why would he do something like that? And my two-year-old daughter is not going to say that just to say it. And what did you do when she told you this? I took her to the hospital. I got a rape kit, kit on her, and I called the police, and I called CPS. They came in. They said it was unfounded due to the fact that we caught it, I guess, at the end or whatever. I don't know. But she kept on getting urinary tract infections. And well, what is that from? Dirt, scum, anything. Because his dirty was touching my daughter. And I want to solve it today. They say that you're making this up. I'm not making nothing up. There's two people saying the same thing. My daughter went up to my girlfriend, Tammy, and said, Papa touched my cuckoo and my behind Her Papa meaning John. Her, uh, John. John yes. the grandfather. I don't know this man from Adam, and I don't want to know him because, you know what, it's hurting me bad that he wouldn't touch a little two-year-old. Okay. Who has custody of your daughter? I Jocelyn? have joint legal custody. So you have joint. So half the time she's with you, half the time and she's she with And she has living, living rights with her mother. Okay. So you've never met Jocelyn's I father? I never met him. Okay, now here's a question. Here's a question to you. As a father, I'd want to know who's around my kids. Exactly. And I'd want to meet them. And you've never met her father? Because every time I want him to come to my house, he will not well, why come. Why don't you go to, to his? I don't know where he lives. I do not know where he lives. What All I know is where my daughter lives and where her mother lives. And every time I say, Jocelyn, let In me this talk day to your and dad, age of Google and Google Maps and. Facebook, you can't track this guy. I understand that. I understand that. I understand that. But all I'm saying is, all I'm saying, Joe, is this: this is a very serious accusation. Yes, it is. And if 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 somebody made this, you know, if if I thought my child was molested, I'm tracking the guy down. I don't care. Nothing's going to stop. Exactly. Me. Um, were you? In a relationship with Tammy when you cheated with Jocelyn? Yes, I was. Oh, yes, you, I was. And why did you do that? Well, when I cheated on Tammy, she, we didn't have a place of our own. She lived at one place. I couldn't stay with her. Right. So I needed a place to stay. You know what I mean? So I didn't want to be on the street. So I met this girl off of the chat line. Chat so lines are chat lines. you had access to a chat line? Uh, on the phone. It was a you phone had line. money for a chat line. I had a cell phone. I had a cell phone. All right. I just, I, I say again, you know, when you're in that it's, position, it's should, just you, a big... should you be using your time and money to be on a chat line if you don't have a phone? Well, no, I, I, I wasn't spending no money on it. Okay. I wasn't spending no money on it. Okay. This chat line, it's, it's free. You can get on. You can talk to anybody you want. Okay. I went on. I talked to her. Really, I really do not like her. Really, I don't know why I, I did what like I her. did. I don't like her, but I'm going to sleep with her. <laughs> did you molest Absolutely not, girl? Steve. I saw you got a date with her. Touching her. Oh, yeah, does that feel good, little girl? You saw him doing this? He's a lame maggot. I have a note at the bottom of slide detector test, and it says extreme deception indicates. You're in a relationship, you don't have a place to stay, and instead of going out looking for a job, you're on a chat line talking to girls. And then, you don't like her, oh, I don't, I don't even know why, I don't like her, but I slept with her, and I brought a human being into the world. And I took my responsibilities and how do you as do a that? dad. How do you do that? I take her all the time when I have to. But you don't even law. work. Okay, I might not work, but I have all the kids at home that I take care of. <laughs> my girlfriend works. But <laughs> well, that's but, nice. Your girlfriend? No. Uh, Is it her kid? No, but I still take care of her. You know, truthfully, all that is—it's uh, one part of the story. But really, the big part of the story is you're making an accusation against a man who you don't even know. I've never met. We're going to meet him in a little bit here. But accusing somebody of child molestation, which is really bad, you know, like exactly. because if it's not true. 
sometimes that stigma stays with you no matter well, what. Why is my two-year-old daughter? Why is my two-year-old daughter gonna say, "Papa touched me"? It really didn't happen. No, you know, again, it's not a serious thing to me, but it might be a serious it's thing. It's a to, very serious uh, thing to you. your girlfriend that Jocelyn says eh, you're still coming over. Um, she had like a picture of you laying on the couch there. That's an old picture. That's a very old picture. Yeah, I mean, but it had a photo stamp with the current date on it. Of what? September of last year. Oh well. <laughs> did you have I, sex with her last? No, September? I didn't. I did. Did you did go not. over her house and take a nap on her couch? No, I didn't. <laughs> but you know. A serious, you know, I go back to this, and, and I take this very seriously, the child molestation. Yes. So I'm, I'm hoping that your daughter wasn't molested, which I'm, I'm hoping sure you're either. hoping that too. And I'm hoping John told the truth, and we'll get down to the bottom of that. And that's, that's really the purpose of the show, to find out if John... Yeah. Thank you. Let's bring out Jocelyn's father, John. You're a scumbag. I'm a scumbag. You owe me more than sperm to be a daddy boy. Oh, really? I worked 25 years straight for my kids. I worked 14 hours a day, you lying bastard. You never met me. I never brought my baby to your house on Christmas. You met okay, me dead. You come up to you my house. Me in court. Did you come you up? Just lied. Did you come up to my house? Did you? Yes, I did. Man? Did yes, you come I did. up to my door? Time, did that? you come up to my door? I walked uh, up whoa, to your whoa. house. Uh, you, did you really? You touched my door. You You're a lying. My Lord Jesus Christ! Shut your door, you lying. She got no UTI. Shut the door. You're accused of child molestation. You're accused of child molestation. Yes, Steve. Serious, serious. God strike me dead if that's true. Okay. He's a lame so, maggot. So I'll ask you. <laughs> I'll ask you. Did you molest? Absolutely this not, girl? Steve. Yes, All right. I so. And then I saw you oh, go to hey, date with her. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, touching her. Oh yeah. Does that feel good, little girl? Oh. oh you saw him doing this? Yeah, no, I saw crazy. her. I saw him I with my. Even though he's supposed to have um, supervised visits. Wait, but what was this you're doing with your hand? Well, that's probably what he was doing. Well, okay. That's probably what he was hold doing. Hold on, hold on. I'm confused here. I'm confused. He, this he, is the man. This is the man that you accused of molesting your daughter. Okay, and I and saw him see the other him day with your daughter. I saw him the other day with my daughter in his red truck. And what did you do? Okay, okay. Uh, I called John. I said, "What is your father doing with my daughter?" I should have called the cops. What? Thank I should have called Hold the cops. I should have called the cops. I know what he looks see, like. I don't have to meet him. Listen, see, the more you talk, the more I say, y you're a man. Okay. Yeah. How am I by, by him no. touching my listen, daughter? Listen, I mean, we live in different worlds. We, li we, we are two different men. Because if, if my child. If I thought somebody was molesting them, and then I was walking down the street, and I saw the person that I thought molested my child, and I'm like, oh, there's the molester with my child. Uh, Jocelyn, what is going on here? <laughs> what, 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 what caring father, what loving father, what protective father does not either Go over there, grab his child, or at least, it was the very vehicle. least, call 911. <laughs>did this to her? Yep, she told me. You touched that little girl! You You're disgusting! The truth's gonna come out! Who touched my daughter then? You did! Why I didn't you call 911? Because I didn't have my phone on me that day. Oh, that day you didn't have the phone on No, me. I didn't. Other days when you want to call chat lines, the phone's there. <laughs> now, <laughs> hold on. But just two seconds. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just two seconds ago, you said you called Jocelyn. I did. I went home and I, I called. So they're not okay, going to do so nothing without have a license phone. plate. You, you called Jocelyn. Doesn't that phone call 911? 
I should have called 911. Yes, I should have. And again, yes, I'll I ask you, why didn't you? Be... I don't know why I didn't. Little kids really count on their parents to make good decisions. And they expect their parents to protect them. And right there, there, whether you know what, and I'm not you know, saying you did or didn't do it, but just the fact that he's accusing you of it, he sees you with this child, and he thinks you're molesting him, and he, he didn't do anything. He went home. Why do you think you're being accused of this? Because Papa this, Papa, she loves me. She no, loves me. Why do you think that he's accusing you of this? Because he's trying to hurt me. I'm trying to hurt you? Yeah. My daughter is the one that came up That's to not me. That's not your daughter's my granddaughter. Step up and be a man. Papa touched me. Yeah, what is that supposed to be? Because you did that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Somebody did. Okay. Me, you took a lie to take the let test. Me, It'll let come me, out. Let okay. me ask you. Yes, Steve. Did you ever inappropriately touch your granddaughter? Strike me down. God, strike me down. I could never do that. Do you believe your granddaughter said these things about you? I think someone coerced her. How could she come you up and say that? You think someone told her to say They had to, Steve. They had to, Steve. Um, and your relationship with your granddaughter? I love that little girl. I'll do anything for her. Let's bring out your girlfriend, Tammy. Listen, you You touched that little girl! You and he did? You know what? She I have me respect and told for you. Me that I you have respect so. for you. And There's no way. There's you're no way. Man. Don't disrespect you're me. Can you get the line to get that? You are very me. disgusting, man. You, know you know are disgusting. You are nasty. I'm disgusting. You make my stomach turn. You make you're my nasty. stomach sick. You're, you're nasty. You're you're nasty. nasty. You are disgusting, you know what, man. Okay, stop, you are disgusting. Stop. You are very Listen to me. I want to ask you a simple question. Now, you've been backstage and listened to what he said. He said that he saw his daughter, who you say, you heard this too, right? That the little girl said to you that Papa did this to her? You heard this? Yep. You heard it with your own ears? Yep, she told me. Now, you heard your boyfriend saying out here, he saw his daughter with the possible child molester. He should have called the cops. He should have did what was right. He should have. Okay, Not this is the man that you're with. Yep. How about if he did that with one of your own children and he didn't call the cops? I would kill him. Hold on, hold on. What did you just say? I would kill him. You would kill him? I would be very upset about that. You're not going to stop him? You're not going to protect that baby? You're not going to do anything to protect that baby? What's wrong with you guys? What's wrong with everybody in this world? Okay. What is wrong? Just turn your head. What's right. wrong turn with your you? Head. Turn your head and say it to What's him. What's wrong? Why would you protect her? That's your baby. That's your no, I She's said. A baby. Okay, I know. She's now, a baby. now, here's the million dollar question, and I'm I'm rooting that you passed this lie detector. Oh, I did. I'm, I'm, I'm I fine. did. But what if what if what if John fails this lie detector test? Right? What if he fails this lie detector test that he molested this little girl, and he was with your little girl was with him, and you didn't do anything. You didn't do anything. And he did fail life, and he did molest her, and you saw your little girl with him, and you didn't do a damn thing. <laughs> All right, so I got to get to this part of the story. I really don't even give a damn about it, but I'll get to it. Do you believe Joe cheated on you with Jocelyn since, since the baby was born? I don't know. It don't add up. Nothing right. adds up to right. anything. So, so I'm saying, and it's like, wow, you're is... lying to me or she's lying to me. Okay. One of you guys are lying. So I'm asking you, if and, you know, she provided a, a picture of him laying on the couch in his pajamas. It's an old picture. Um, whatever. But say he did cheat on you since the baby's born. Would that matter to you? Yes, it would. Okay. I'm leaving him. I'm leaving him. I'm so if he fails all... his the other thing that he has not tied with me is. My kids. And that's the only thing you'll be able to ever see ever again. You understand? And it will be through somebody you will never be able to see my face ever again. Now listen, you love this man, right? I do love him. And you know what? And I, hey, listen. But love can be healed. And, and love can be an overpowering emotion, right? Yeah. Love can make us do things that we normally wouldn't do. Mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like a drug, right? I mean, it is. When you fall in love with somebody, and especially in the beginning, oh, man, you are not the same person, right? When you first fall in love... It's all about that person. Right. You know? And, exactly. And, and, you wanna, and if you really want that person, you'll do just about anything to be with that person. You know what I mean? Would you do anything for Joe? 
Because I love him. I'm asking you, would you do anything for Joe? Yeah, I would. Would you lie for Joe? No, I wouldn't. Would you, that, would, you would you, would you, I'm asking the questions. <laughs> would you make up the story about this little girl saying that she was molested? Would you go to that depth for Joe? Never. Okay. Never, ever would I do ever have, do that. Do you have a lot of anger towards Jocelyn for having an affair with your man? I put that behind us. But this recent one, I do have a lot of anger because it's both of their faults. She could have told him, no, go home, because I know. He's your man. Yeah, and he shouldn't have been there. No, I wasn't there that long. I was there for 10 minutes. But you say you heard the little girl say it, right? Yeah. All right. No coaching by anybody? No coaching. Were you both of you together when the little girl said this, or were you separate? No, I, I wasn't with Tammy when my daughter went up to her. So she just came up to you and said this? Yep. Well, we, I was getting her pajamas out, and she said that Papa had, because she said, she was complaining about her. And who did she tell who? first, though, you or her, him? He told me. She, she told, told you first. Yes. Okay. Let's bring out your daughter, the woman that you had an affair with, Jocelyn. They're not worth it. They're not worth it. The truth's gonna come out. 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 You look like a pit bull. You look like a pit bull. You had sex with Lisa Tucker. Come on. You're nasty. You're nasty. You were just a thief. You were just a thief. But the truth's gonna come out. You were just a thief. Look at you. You look like Humpty Dumpty. You have you have uh, yeah, to Yeah, why? So it must have because been I need right? a place to stay. You said you loved me. Uh, what? Yes. I never said the I loved you. Got to never. Come out. Was it a one night stand? No, we had sex over thirty times. Yeah, okay. Why do they want to do this to me? What did I ever do to you? What did I ever do to you? We understand there's a lot of high emotion up here. Sorry for both Except of besides ladies. cheating and everything else, uh, a, a serious accusation against John. Now, you met Joe, and was it a one night stand? No, it was not night? a one night stand. You tell me what we happened. We had sex over 30 times. Yeah, okay. 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 This was before you had the child? Yes. Okay. You became pregnant? 30 times. Yes. And okay. you were happy? Yes, we were happy. You were, you, both of you were happy? Yeah. Okay, How when you told him you were pregnant, what was his reaction? He was happy. He's he was like, happy. it's going to be a daughter. Did you know he was, he was with uh, Tammy? No, I did not. When did you find out? And then when I was two months pregnant. When you were, and how did you find out? Um, I, she called me. She called you? She called me. And what did she say? She, she found out about me. She, you know, she said that I'm his girlfriend. I didn't know. And what did you say? I said, well... <laughs> I'm pregnant with his daughter. You know, I'm pregnant with his baby. They're not even going to know okay. what it is. So in two then, months. did Joe leave at some point? He wasn't with you anymore? No, that's when he threatened my life <laughs> and I went to Texas. He threatened your life? He said he was going to, if I had the baby, he was going to kill me. Okay. Okay. You not see how that. You didn't do time for that. that. I didn't yeah, do see. time for that. No, I didn't do time for and it. And Tammy, you're with him, no, really? No, I didn't do time for Why it. Why shut up, you okay. whore? Hey, shut hey, up. Hey. Okay. Keep her clean. So Please. now he left you. You know, that's not he right, goes, Tammy. He goes back that's to... That's not right. Oh, I feel sorry for both of you two. Hold on one I'm sorry, sir. I got a lot of for you, but I hope, I'm just hoping that you pass oh, this letter. I passed. Thing, so. Okay. So what I'm asking you is if, if he, you know, did a lot of terrible things to you, said things, lied to you, went back to Tammy, you're saying as recently as this last September that you had sex with him again. I did. Why? Because he... <laughs> She's such a liar. I, I, lies. I, I believed his lies. He told me he loved me. He wanted... but, but hold on a second. Come here. Come here. One day. See, uh, this no, is where I have to hold day. you accountable. I know. You might have made a mistake. You got involved with the goofball. You had a baby. But then at that point, oh, she calls that. you and says, hey, this is my man. You know, and then he, he told go, me that they were hold broken on, up. Hold on, hold on. But he did go back with her. He 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 said some really pretty rotten stuff to you, and he left. Yes. So the point is, he does all this. He's not there for the birth of his child, right? No. He doesn't claim it, right? He, um. After there, it was born? No. Okay. He didn't claim it. So all this is going on. He treats you. Does he give you any money after the baby's born? No. Okay. Why would you ever have sex with him again? 
So, but you say you slept with them last September. Yeah, I have a picture. And you're not lying about that. I have a picture. I saw the picture laying on your couch uh, in some kind of undergarment or whatever. And why did you take that picture to prove that you were having sex with them? I was just, I was playing around, but I knew something was going to happen, you know. So. How do you how do you feel that they are saying that your father molested your daughter? <laughs> no, I'm, don't, for, don't look at them. You talk to me right now. You and me are talking. Mm -hmm. They're accusing your father, who you have what, good relationship with your father? A very good A relationship. very good relationship. Is he a good man? Yes, he's a great man. Has he ever been accused of this before? No. Never? No. That doesn't seem like a creepy guy? No, he's a very angry person. I, no, of course. He what I'm saying is, is he a good grandfather to he's your child? He's a great grandfather. He's a great he's grandfather. Like he's a good granddad. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm sorry, That's right. I mean, disrespect so you're a hundred percent like if I said, "Hey, we're gonna send you on a month-long trip," you'd have no problem leaving your child with your dad. I have no problem. Okay. All right. Let's find out. <laughs> First one, we're gonna get to your lie detector test, and this is concerning whether you had sex with uh, Joe. Jocelyn took a lie detector test and she was asked, did you have sexual intercourse with Joe in September of 2010? She answered yes, and the results for that question is that Jocelyn, have you ever sexually abused your granddaughter? <clears throat> did you tell your daughter to say that John sexually abused her? And it says extreme deception in the Jocelyn took a lie detector test and she was asked, did you have sexual intercourse with Joe in September of 2010? She answered yes, and the results for that question is that Jocelyn told the truth. You might have a little interest in this next question. <laughs> Did Joe tell you that he loved you? Loved you in September of 2010? She answered yes. And the results is she told the truth. You love her? You <laughs> loved her? I said I loved you. You loved her? I said I loved you. No, right? And, and, and no I, one's sad, listen. though, Steve, really. No one's really sad. These babies are involved. That's what's really sad, man. Right. That's what's really sad. These babies are involved. I, mean, I wanted just a happy home for my kids. And this <laughs> had to come into my life. And that <laughs> girl over there did, too. And why do they want to do it to me? Why do they want to do this to me? What did I ever do to you? What did I ever do to you? I did I not tell know. her I loved her. I want to yeah. know. How can she tell the truth? Stop. See what my you test results come back. This ahead. show is um, about helping and protecting the people my that God. can't do it themselves, and that is children, oh, no. really, in my book. <laughs> um, <laughs> and if we could, you know, with the show, we have the power to help a child if it's being molested, and you did something. Then hey John, we'll come after you with both barrels. You know what I Please mean? Please do. We'll do I'll, that. You know what? I'll hand you the gun loaded. And, and you know what? And I hope, I hope that you pass. Oh, I did. Your grandfather, this is your grandchild, My this first is your blood, grandbaby. Your first grandchild. I would hope that you would be, you know, oh, not I the did. monster. I did. And that you're the good granddad. I am. Let's find out. You're gonna find the truth. John was asked, have you ever sexually abused your granddaughter? <clears throat> the answer is, he gave is no. And the results for John's lie detector test is that he told the truth. <laughs> Who touched my daughter then? You did! 
I did. Okay. Okay. I touched my daughter. Okay. Tim, you knew better than that. Would I touch my daughter? No, you wouldn't. Thank you. No, you wouldn't. Dad, Hey, man. Ignore her. I'm going to ask you, how does it feel to know this is off your shoulders now? You proved that you didn't do anything. He better get a lawyer. I want to ask you to feel. How's it feel? We got him, Dad. Don't like worry about it. it. First, my daughter. I know I didn't do it. So I could it never. So it feels good. Oh yeah. Feels good to clear your name. That you put him in his place. Thank okay. you. I just feel sorry um, for her. No, she's just, stuck no, hold in on. This. Like hold she said, on. the kids. Hold on. Um, Joe brought up an interesting question. Who molested? Who touched my daughter? Who touched his daughter? <laughs> Who did it? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Quiet. He Quiet. brings up an interesting question. Who? Molested his daughter. Hold on. I didn't really. Wait, 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 wait. Do you know who I think it was? I don't think it was. I don't think it was. I don't think it was anybody. Let's get to the cheating, which we already kind of know the answer, right, Joe? I don't know. <laughs> well, you don't know. I don't know. Oh, no, you don't know. Because you're a liar. You know if you took your clothes off, or maybe you didn't, and had sex with her. Uh, no, I didn't. So why don't you, if there, here's your chance at some redemption. You've said nothing but stupid, ignorant things on my stage since you've hit it. Here's your chance for some redemption. If you cheated on uh, your girlfriend with Jocelyn, what, here's the time. Before I read it, I won't even read it yet. Why don't you, if you did, this is your chance to say, you know what? I'm going to start being accountable for what I did. You know what, Tim? You know I'm going to be accountable for what I did. I did not do nothing with that little scam. I did not do nothing with her. How many times you have to test the okay. line, John? Okay. Let's no, find out. Okay. I want to see. Joe took a lie detector test before the show, and he was asked in September 2010, did you have sexual intercourse with Jocelyn? He answered no. The results of that question is he did not tell the truth. Liar. Oh, September 2010, did you tell Jocelyn that you loved her? He answered no. The results of that question? Subject did not tell the truth. You know what? It's a hoax. I don't hear it too good. That's what it is. And this is the saddest of all questions. Have you had sexual contact with any other woman besides Jocelyn and Tammy since you've been in a relationship with Tammy? He answered no. And the results for that question is, he didn't tell the truth. Oh, Who did I have sex with? Nobody! You know what, that, that's a lie. I want to retest. I want to retest. You're disgusting. That's a lie. That's a big lie. Because I know I, I didn't have no sex with anybody else. Joe took the lie to touch the phone. Let's find out. Joe, you were asked, did you tell your daughter to say that John sexually abused her? You said no. And the results for your lie detector test is that. Joe, you were asked, did you tell your daughter to say that John sexually abused her? You said no. And the results for your lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. <laughs> a story that John sexually abused your daughter? You answered no. The results is that subject did not tell the truth. Oh my God. He was asked, did you know that Jocelyn was pregnant with your daughter before you got the child support notice? He answered no. And the results is subject did not tell the truth. Test before the show. I don't know him. Ted, you were asked.
Did you tell Joe Starter to say that John sexually abused her? You answered no. And the results of your lie detector test is you didn't tell the truth. story that John sexually abused Joe's daughter. You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. That's a lie. 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 Extreme deception indicated. Oh, wow. Hold on. At this uh, time, I'd like to bring out Dan Rebikoff, who gives out our line to talk to us. Dan Rebikoff. Nobody, because of the, what we're talking about here, I'm not giving anybody the right to run off stage. Now, I'm not, I can't stop anybody, but you're not gonna, you're gonna sit here and listen to these results. You brought accusations against a man for sexual molestation. So that, Hold on! You said you called the show. You wanted results. You're getting them, whether you like them or not. Shut up, oh, everybody. Dude, come on, stop. stop. Dan. Let's Thank see, you, Steve. Steven, testing Tammy. She is probably one of the most deceptive persons that I have ever tested in private practice or this show. That means you presented very, very nicely, extremely believable, until I tested you and I watched needles fly off the chart on the polygraph instrument. She also expressed to me her hatred for Jocelyn. How Jocelyn I never is, said I hated her. How Jocelyn is disgusting. You said it on the stage. How Jocelyn is I filthy. Said. I said I hate her. How she wants custody of the child. I never said that I wanted custody of that baby. Yes, you did. Never. 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 I have four kids of my own, Steve. I don't want anybody else's kids. You You know so what? Um... It's uh, this. The, let's boil this show down to one simple thing. This isn't a show about cheating or whatever. You know what? I don't think anybody cares that Joe cheated on you. I'm sorry. Nobody cares. Um, wow. Why is it all coming down on us? But the fact would, is that. that the two of you would think really that you would him. use my show. You mind. would use my show to try to get a little baby away from its mother. Never. You are, never. Never. Never be finished. Okay. You two of the most despicable human beings that ever graced the stage. Get the hell off my stage! I want to say, John, I'm really glad we got to clear your name. They both fail miserably. Maybe one of the worst f failures we've ever had on the show. Oh, Speaks he... volumes. I didn't believe that you did it from the get-go, but I didn't want to come out because sometimes you get burned. Yeah. But yeah. I was hoping that a guy, this is your first grandchild, you're going to love it his whole life, you're going to do wonderful things for that baby. I was raised with eight sisters. So. so I'm glad for you that we cleared your name, all right? <laughs> and I say this to a lot of women on my stage. I hope that you will focus on being a mother and taking care of your child. I am. And I hope that in the future, you will make much better decisions on who you sleep with and why you sleep with them. <laughs> Look at your father if you want to see a good man. All he right? is a good man. He is a good man. He's a very good man. That's all my daughter needs is a good mother you know and a grand grandfather. This, this, th like, uh, I'm telling you. This is the kind of show that's going to change your life. It is. It cleared your name. It changed it. It showed you that, you know, two people were plotting to take your baby away from you. And now I'm taking his child away You're from you. You're taking him. it. All right. Um, I'm her protector. I'm her protector.
I got no problems hey. adopting my hey, granddaughter. Listen. She's already got my last name. Hey, good luck to you. Thank you. Take care of your baby. And again, remember what I said. Worry about being a good mom, Hi. and don't worry about these guys out there. Thank okay? you so much. Thanks again, Steve. I appreciate everything, buddy. You saved me. There's people in prison that have more freedom than you. I can't go anywhere without him. I can't talk to anybody without him. He became really controlling. Man, I know you've been cheating on me and you lied to me. How do I know that that kid's mine and it's not my family members, huh? Tell me the truth right now. She's your daughter. I wouldn't lie about that. I do love her, but... Okay, you love her, but then you give her a list of rules to live by, right? Who are you that you could impose your will, your list of rules on anybody. My brother has turned into a monster. He just went crazy. Like, you can see the look in his eyes. Did you spit in her face? I'm not the abuser. Okay. You're the one that lies all the time. I'm you know what, baby? Hold on, hold on. What gives you the right to control anybody? Tell them what to do, what not to do. I've never open fist hit her. I've slapped her. I want to prove to him that I'm not cheating. I want him to stop accusing me. But what not your point be, you know what, Steve? I'm here to tell this son of a bitch I'm out. <laughs> Yvette says she feels like a prisoner in her own home because her boyfriend, John, controls every aspect of her life. She can't leave the house, talk on the phone, or use a computer. She also says he forced her to quit her job because he suspects she'll cheat. John says he can't trust her, and he believes she got pregnant by someone else and is trying to pin the baby on him. Take a look. I need to find out if my girlfriend's newborn is mine. We broke up, she, she was pregnant, she told me she was gonna go get an abortion. We got back together and it comes to know she's still pregnant. I think she had an abortion and then she got pregnant again. Then she came running to me talking about that was my baby. There's no connection when I hold the baby. It just feels like it's, it's not there, you know? It's just not there. And I just feel that I can't trust her to go be with her family or friends because I feel that she's cheating on me, you know? I feel that she sneaks people in my house when I'm not there. That's why I don't like her going anywhere or talking on the phone with anybody because I know she's 20 years old and she's going to be sneaking around on me. And that's why I, I do the things I do, you know. At night, I block the door because I think that she's sneaking somebody in the house while I'm asleep. She needs to have some respect for me as a man and stay home and take care of the baby. I want to know if she's cheating on me and if the baby's really mine. I want to prove to my boyfriend that I'm not cheating on him and that he is the father of our new daughter why does he think you're cheating on him we've been together for about two years on and off and a few months into the relationship he became really controlling he started telling me that I was sleeping around and that I was talking to people and it's not true were you were you cheating on him no I've never cheated on him where, where did he get these insecurities from at first, he wasn't like that. He was really nice, and he's a good guy. I love him, and I want to be with him, but he's, he's controlling. He's always, he doesn't want me to have a phone. I can't walk outside to look because he thinks I'm looking for somebody. I can't go anywhere without him. I can't talk to anybody without him being present. Um, you can't use a phone or a computer. No, I can't. I... He has to be there if I need to use the computer. He needs to be there to watch. When's the last time you left your house without him? I can't even remember when the last time was. He made you quit your job because he thought you were cheating at work? Yes, he would park in front of my job to see if he would see me in the front counter. And if he didn't see me there, I was in the back sleeping with somebody. <laughs> um... Won't let you go back to school to complete your education. Yes, I want to go to school so I can get a good job because of my daughters. They're living paycheck to paycheck, and I don't want that for them. I want them to have a good future. I want them to be able to ask for things and get what they want. I've never heard of anybody saying, I want to go back to school 
and somebody giving a good reason why they shouldn't. Like, I want to go back to school. No, that's not a good idea. He tells me, he puts me down like, he'll tell me, you're not going to be able to finish. You're, if you go, you're not going to end up going. And I'm scared because if I go and I start going and then I miss school because he tells me I'm cheating on him at school, <laughs> it's something he'll say. He doesn't allow you to speak with family or friends. He doesn't allow me to go to my mother's house. Why can't you go to your mother's house? I can't go see any of my family members because he can't go over there. They haven't accepted oh, him. Oh, because they don't like him. They have not accepted him. With good him. reason. He... Um, <laughs> at night, your boyfriend blocks off the door so you cannot sneak any man into the house it's while a, he's asleep. It's a one-bedroom apartment. No, see... <laughs> I'm laughing because it's almost like it's so ridiculous, it's humorous. I mean, to me, because I don't have to live like this, I'm sure it's not very humorous to you, but it's almost unbelievable. Like, why do you go along with this? Because I love him. He's a good you, father. Okay, hold on. You love him, and he's a good father. When we're not fighting, we're happy. We As long as you obey all these rules. Yes. Who... I mean, there's people in prison serving life sentences that have more freedom than you. That's how I feel. I feel like if he gets help, like for his issues, that he <laughs> like, could yeah, change. What, what kind of help is there? Like, like. <laughs> well, hello, is anybody in there? I feel like if he takes anger management. I want to know as a woman why you take you put up with this. Because my daughter needs her father. He's a great father to her. And I want him to understand that I'm, I'm not going to cheat on him. If I want him to give me that freedom, and I want him to okay, understand. But how about, forget all that. How about saying, I'm a human being, and you're not going to give me a bunch of rules to live my life by? Man, I know you've been cheating on me and you lied to me. How do I know that that kid's mine and it's not my family members, huh? Tell me the truth right now. She's your daughter. You give her a list of rules to live by, right? Who are you that you can impose your will, your list of rules on anybody? How do I know that that kid's mine and it's not my family members, huh? Tell me the truth right now. She's your daughter. I want to be with him. I love him. I want my daughters to have him. And I understand. I, I understand you want love from somebody, and particularly this guy. And you say he's a great dad, but he denies the fact that your one daughter is even his. He's been there since I had her, and he helps me with her. He stays up with her. He, I just think he just has a doubt because of the fact that we were split up when I first How many, how many children pregnant. do you have together? I only have one. One with him. Does he get to leave the house without you? Yes, he does. Okay. Can he use a phone or a computer? Yes, he can. With, without you being around? Yes. He can. Um, if he wanted to go back to school, could he? Yes. Not that I'm sure that's very high on his list. Um, <laughs> is he allowed to talk with his friends or family? Yes. Uh... And you don't block the door to keep women out at night? No, I don't. Why does he get to do all these things and you don't? Because I love him and I trust him. But doesn't him. he love you? Doesn't he love you? Does he love you? I honestly don't know. Okay. Are you less of a person than him? No. Does a woman get less rights than a man? No. Say it, women. Yeah. How long are you going to t tolerate this? I don't know. Because I understand, like, listen, I'll talk to him. He's going to come out and I'm going to talk to him. But talking to me, is that going to change him as a, a person? I know you, you took a lie detector test and a DNA test, and maybe those things will help. But does, I always said, does a piece of paper change anybody? No, change comes because... You want change or you're, you're forced to change. 
And I can't force somebody to change their behavior. But you know who could force them to change? Do you know who? You don't know who? Myself. She's sitting right over there. You're the only one who can force them to change. You could say, you know what? You're not going to treat me this way. I'm not going to tolerate these rules anymore. And if you don't like it, there's the door. And I can't make you do that. Only you can make yourself say that. Let's bring out your boyfriend, John. Yvette, I know you've been cheating on me. You lied to me. Yes, you lied to me. You're lying to me. I lied to you. Yes, you are. I don't lie. Man, you expect me to believe that that kid's mine? But you expect me to believe it's mine sometimes? You don't know what it feels like because of what you've done. You know what you've done. You need to stop playing the innocent one. Stop playing the innocent one. Stop playing the innocent one, man. Tell me the truth right now. She's your daughter, and you know she's your daughter, because if she nah, wasn't man. your daughter, you had you an abortion. You told me you day. had an abortion. You told me. I was, I wanted to, but I couldn't do it. I went to the doctors with you when, she, when you were pregnant. You were pregnant. You were like a couple daughter. weeks pregnant. You were a couple weeks pregnant, then you split up with me to go she's party. She's your daughter. You I had an abortion, do that to man. My daughter. I you're just going to be straight up and tell me, man. I want her to have her dad. And you're sitting here, I feel like you're lying to me. You always lie to me. I'm That's not all I feel. lying. She's your daughter. I wouldn't lie about that. What the, so, John, I don't understand. She's always lying to you. Yes. Right? Then why do you stay with her? I tell her. All right, look, Steve. I tell her to leave. You know what I mean? Just get your stuff and leave, man. You know what I mean? But she doesn't leave. She doesn't leave. She and decides you, to stay and you, around. And you let her stay. Yes, I do, because, like, uh, I do love her. But okay, like, you love a, her. But then you, can, you, crazy, get, you get, yeah, you give her a list of rules to live by, right? Right, right. She can't use the phone. Right. Can't leave, can't leave the house without you. Nope. <laughs> like, nope. who, like, who are you? She's 20 years old, no, right? who are she you? She knows what she's, she's who are you? doing. Like, like, who are you that you can impose your will, your list of rules on anybody? Man. Basically, though, I need to change. She left a family member of mine, a family member of mine. I made a mistake, right? and I, I don't expect no. people not to you judge on, me for it. Every time you broke up with me, you went back to that family member, and you who, came to uh, me. Who were you dating first? So the how the that that kid's mine, and it's not my family members, huh? It's how not do I know that? I don't have anything. Man, to you do. even told me. Okay, you told on. me. Okay, hold on. Don't sit here and lie to me. Who, who were you? Who were you dating first? I was dating his family member first. You were dating the family member first. Okay. And you just said, oh, it was a mistake. No, well, you don't know, family okay, member at okay. that. But then, knowing that she dated this other person, you said, okay, I'll date you too. Yeah. So, listen, what, you're the only person that never dated somebody, broke up with them, and moved on? We all have done it. But she did the same things to him too, as well. Then why are you me. with her? You know what I mean? Since you got back together with the vet, have you had sexual physical contact with anyone else? He said nope. And the results for John's line effective test is that he. Since you got back together with the vet, have you had sexual physical contact with anyone else? He said nope. Is she cheating on you right now? I believe, well, she can't I believe be. that she, she can't even leave the house. I believe that she has, though. I just believe that How? she has. Who's she cheating with? The, the janitor? Uh, <laughs> the, the, you know, who, the milkman? I mean, she, she can't leave the house. How can she cheat on well, you? We live in a pretty messed up environment where we live at, and right there where the complexes are, there's people that, you know, do Is she just that sleazy? Stuff, so, you is know? she that sleazy, that whorish? Man, that she she's kicks just... back around sleazy people. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Do you love her? Yeah, I love her. Do you want to be with her? Yes, I want to be with her. Can you forget about her past? Honestly, think about that one before you answer. If you can't forget about her past, then you should do her a favor and move on. Yeah, I could forget about her past, you know? I, you could. I have, you know what I mean? But it's just a little thing. But, you know? but you've hit the stage and you've thrown in her face about 10, 15 times already. I now, feel like she's she me. says. She loves you, and I, I can only believe that she's telling the truth because what woman would tolerate being treated like that? You need to 
I want to give. I have changed, Yvette. It's I you, though. You're the daughter, problem. I want to give her the best for her future. I want her to grow up and have a be happy about her family. I don't want her to be go to school when she gets older and be all stressed out at school because her parents are always fighting. Yeah, I want to know if this child's really mine, though, before any She's of that. She's her you know daughter. I mean? And what if it is? It's, it comes back, the child's yours. Man, I'm, you know. You what? You need to change. Do you cheat on her? No, I don't. You never cheat on her? I've never cheated on her. When never. We, when, when we split up, though. Then you sleep with somebody else. I slept with somebody else. Of course. I told her, I told her though. You know and what why, we, Of course you have to, right? Right. Just like if she slept with somebody. I mean, I don't have to tell her, you know, but I did because okay. I'm an honest person. You know, I'll, I'm not going to okay. lie. Okay. Did you sleep with somebody else when you were broken up? No, I didn't. I don't believe that. You told me that you slept with the fam my family member. You told me. You and got I an abortion. I, I just to feel do. that you had. You got an abortion. Why had, do you feel I, she had an abortion? She the had dates a, changed of the pregnancy. Baby, the dates changed. The dates changed. I'm just saying, three weeks late. You know what I mean, three weeks later or whatever. I, I know these things because She's I know the day daughter. she got pregnant. I know the day she got pregnant. You know what I mean? I do. I went to the doctor with her. Let me ask you this. Have you seen anything with your own eyes? Her sleep, you walk in, she's in bed with somebody naked? No. No? Not really. You ever catch her a phone call? Oh, baby, I love phone you. Phone call, yeah. Baby. Phones. You like, caught her? I mean, not caught Talking? her, but you know, she's like, she's on her little. She's broken, like, so many of my phones and. He, because he doesn't want me using them. No, I am not allowed to Why do you break phones. her phones? I broke her phones like twice because <laughs> she did not want to let me see the messages or what she was doing, and I wanted to know. Just so like she you wants to know what so I'm doing, I wanted her. to know the same, and she didn't let me know. So I, I broke them, <laughs> oh, and I God. told her to get out of here. You know what I mean? I didn't want to be with her no All more. All right. We gave the little girl on the screen, um, we took a DNA test. Matt, uh, with you, gave you a little DNA test. And John... You are the father. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. You need to stop I'm sorry. with that. I know. She had the baby. I didn't believe it, though, you know? When they handed you baby, did you believe it? No, it was, I don't know. <laughs> I've been there for my children, though, so it's like it wasn't there, you know? Uh, in fact, you came and you took a lie detector test. Since April of 2012, have you had any sexual physical contact with anyone besides John? You said no. Since April 2012, have you had any sexual intercourse with anyone besides John? You said no. And Yvette told the truth. I missed what you, the part where you were apologizing to her. No, I'm sorry though, you know, I just, maybe I do need help, you know? <laughs> oh, I do. Maybe. I, I do need help. I do. You need to change if not for me, but for your daughter. No, I will. She doesn't deserve this. Should we just end the show right there? Come on, baby, let's just go, take you home. That's all I want to do right now. Just go yeah, I'm sure you baby. do. <laughs> Anything you want to tell her? No. No. Okay. We asked John, since you got back together with the vet, have you had sexual physical contact with anyone else? He said, nope. Since you got back with the vet, have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone else? He said, no. And the results for John's lie detector test is that he told the truth also. <laughs> is anything going to change? You need to change. No, 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 no. I forget about him right now. <laughs> I'm asking you. You came here. You proved the baby was his. You proved to him that you haven't been cheating or having sex with anyone else. You said that you were, you were going to, I don't even know if you did say it, that you were going to make this change, that you weren't going to put up with it anymore. I'm not. If it continues the way it is, if you don't let me finish school and give me my freedom, I want to have a phone, I, I'm going to leave.
I can't and take I, this anymore. I understand. I hope when you go home, you'll be strong like you are now. I hope you, behind closed doors, when nobody's watching, I hope you'll be this strong, not only, like you said, for yourself, but for your daughter. Now, you said there was no connection when he held the baby. You know it's yours now. You think you can go back there and hold that baby and, and make a connection? There is a connection, but it's just like, it wasn't like how it's supposed to be, you know? Are you ready to go back to the green room? I'm ready to go see my baby. Let's go. Love you. I'm sorry, okay? My brother has turned into a monster. He just went crazy. Like you can see the look in his eyes. I want to prove to him that I'm not cheating. I want him to stop accusing me. Denise says she's tired of being controlled and abused. She's been with her boyfriend Kevin for over a year and says he spits on her and punches her in the face. But Kevin says he's no abuser and they only fight because he thinks Denise is cheating. Take a look. My brother has turned into a monster. Ever since he's been with his girlfriend, he's been abusive, controlling. He just went crazy. Like, you can see the look in his eyes. I've seen him hit her. I've seen him jump on her. I've actually been in the middle of him fighting. I've tried to keep him under control. The fighting, the black eyes, it's like, you're going to go to jail. You've been to jail. Why do you keep doing this? Is it worth it? His girlfriend, Denise, she seems to care about him. She puts up with anything that he does. If I had to be in a room, locked in a room, nowhere to go, no TV to watch, no one to talk to, why would you stay? If you're getting hit, you're getting abused, emotionally, physically, why do you stay? I've told her to stand up herself, to move on, to tell him that you don't want to be with him. She's always saying she's going to leave, she's going to leave, but she stays. I think my brother is abusive because he's insecure about her cheating. There's no way in hell she's cheating on him because she don't go nowhere. She just stays in her room. Stays in her room. She can't even go to the grocery store with me. Today, I want to see Kevin wake up. I want Steve to give him this wake-up call. If nothing's done about this relationship, it's going to be a wrap. It's going to end dirty. Something bad's going to happen. Either somebody's going to get hurt or my brother's going to go to jail. He was a childhood friend, Steve, and um, he was a really good man. You know, um, I was in an abusive relationship. We met back on Facebook. Uh, about a year and a half ago, and I went to stay with him because, you know, I was in that abusive relationship. So about two weeks after I started staying with him, me and him started talking, trying to form a relationship. Two months to relationship, he starts accusing me of cheating, starts trying to tell me where I can go, who I can go with, who I can talk to. So you kind of went from one abusive relationship to another To another. One. Um, why do you think things changed? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know if he cheated and he feels guilty about it or if it's just if he got comfortable the, with me. What, what, what if that, well, you know, get comfortable with, you're supposed to get comfortable in a relationship and I don't think you get comfortable and then you start abusing the person. Um, you know, that's not, that's not getting comfortable. That's taking advantage and uh, just being a <laughs> So why do you stay with him? Because he's abusing you. Because I love him and I know the oh, man God. he was when we when we when we met. I know the man that he was and I know the man that he. But can isn't be. it true? You know, I hear that all the time. I, I love him because of the man he was when we met. But isn't your true personality the true who you are? Doesn't that come out over a period of time? I mean, how about every first date that we've all been on? That first date, you are the phoniest, baloniest person on the, you know, oh, you know, you're cutting your toenails. You know, you ain't cut your toenails in a year. But you're going on this date, you're doing, you wash your car, you do all these things because it's a first date. So now you get to spend some serious amount of time living together and then he, okay, and I have this, um, tells you what you can wear. Yeah, he doesn't like me to wear like anything V cut, like this, this outfit here. He's going to be mad. He's going to probably be mad. Tell us um, what time to go to bed. Yeah, like if he's got to get up to go to work or whatever, he'll be like, well, i got to get him to go to work, so we're going to bed. 
and you have to go and to bed. And I go to bed. He won't let you walk down the street alone. No, he says he's trying to protect me. He doesn't realize his controlling behavior. Tells you what you can eat and what you cook for dinner. Well, he just he's he's a real picky eater. He's <laughs> He really is. But what does that mean to do with you? Why does he get to tell you what you're going to eat? Oh, well, he doesn't like to tell me He just tells me that he's not going to eat this or he's not going to eat that. So I have to cook something that he likes to eat. Tells you who you can talk to? Who yeah, he, he tells me who I can talk to. He asks me who I've talked to, uh, how long I've talked to him, what we talked about. Like, I'm supposed to remember all that. And if I get one little detail wrong, he flips. <laughs> it's got to be hell living that way. Tells you who your friends are going to be, and you can't go over to a friend's house if he's not there. No, no, I can't even really go to my sister's unless he's with me. Why? Like he wants me to wait because he's afraid I'm cheating. Stephen, I've never cheated on him, never. You're the first person ever to call me Stephen on my show. <laughs> um, <laughs> Only my sisters, my mom, my, my friend, but it was kind of unusual to hear that. Um, my wife is telling me that he threw hot sausage in your face. Yes, we, we had been arguing about cheating, and I was going to cook, cook food still, and he was, um, he was getting an attitude telling me that he didn't want anything I cooked, so... I was like, okay, fine, I'll cook me something. So I get up and start cooking, and he gets all mad. So he comes over there and gets sausage out of the pan and throws it in my face. Uh, so I'm clear. What's your point of being on the show today? I want to prove to him that I'm not cheating. I want him to stop accusing me. But wouldn't your point be, you know what, Steve? I'm here to tell this son of a bitch I'm out. <laughs> Did you spit in her face? I'm not the abuser. You're the one that lies all the time. You I throw it in the what gives you the right to control anybody? Tell them what to do, what not to do. I've never open fist hit her. I've slapped her. Did you spit in her face? I'm not the abuser. Okay. You're the one that lies all the time. When I was a policeman, I'd go to the apartment, and this would happen. And believe me, the sausage turns into a, a pan of... Uh, cooking oil heated up and let me tell you I saw that and that's a horrible thing to see a woman that got covered with boiling hot uh, oil and do you know when we got to and she was burnt like like she was in a fire for a month and when we went it was my very first call as a Chicago police my five minutes on the street it was my very first call and we went to the hospital she was near death and you know what she didn't want to sign complaints she, she didn't want him to get in trouble and he almost killed her. Now, will it, will, it, will it leap to that? I don't know. But I think if you're spitting on somebody that you love, supposedly, when you hit that person, when you throw food in their face, I, I wonder, well, what won't you do? What won't you do? I mean, you heard what his own sister said, that, you know, this is going to end badly. Uh, let's bring out your boyfriend, Kevin. <laughs> You go places, yeah, I you say that you're here, you know but why? then I, I find out that you're lying. That you're somewhere else the whole other Denise, time. Denise. The whole time. I'm not the abuser. Okay. I'm not abuser. Okay. You hit me just okay. as much as I hit okay. you. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Take that lie detector test. Must, you hit me and more. That, and that must be, you know, and it's <clears throat> not right for anybody to hit anybody. I always have to put that disclaimer out there for all the knuckleheads. <laughs> but it is true. Nobody, the you know, women shouldn't hit it, men. Men shouldn't hit women. But I'm sure you're terrified when she's coming after you, right? No, just, just okay, let me... Okay, hold on, me hold on, hold on right. a second. Now. You, you, it's not only her saying that you do this. Your sister, who made this tape, says you. It's you, not her.
This is your blood sister saying you're the problem. Is your yes, sister alive? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, she's a liar, too. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to just go over this list one time, and you tell me true or not true, okay? Uh, you tell her what she can wear? Yeah. Okay. Tells her what time she has to go to bed? No. Well, you say, I got to go to bed. Let's go to bed, right? That, ha that, bed. Happened, on one, that happened on one incident. Okay. When tell I had... her she can't walk down the street alone? Yes, sir. No, sir. Yeah. Uh, what she, you tell her? Yeah, yeah, I tell her that she can't walk down the street because I don't want nothing to happen to right. her. Yeah, so better to stay home and never walk down the street, right? Never yeah. take a chance. Yeah, I, li I live in a bad neighborhood. Yeah, okay. Um, tells, tells her what she can cook. She never can cook anything she That's, that's a completely lie. Uh, you tell her who she can talk to? Yeah, some, some people, some people, yeah. Who she can hang out with? Yeah, sometimes. Controls who her friends are? No, mm -hmm. no. Uh, she can't go over to her friend's house if you're not if you're not with her. No, she can. She can leave right now. I mean, yeah, I mean, if she wants to, she goes anyway. She lies to she me. She cheats on you. I don't know that. I don't know that. Okay, I, you know, you're a young guy, and you know, probably in that very immature stage. What gives you the right to control anybody? Tell them what to do, what not to do. It's not. It's not that I'm controlling her. Well, you're trying to look. What what it is is I worry about her. I, I'm I'm highly protected over. Her. Highly protected. Highly protected. Did you throw hot sausage in her face? It was not hot. It was not hot. She so just had cold. started cooking it. I just done like this and just tossed it up to her like that right there. Honest to God truth. <laughs> Honest to God truth. Hey, you know what happened after I done that? It really didn't even hit her. She grabs the frying pan, slings that, and hits me in the back of the head with it. It didn't really hit me, but it hit me in my face. Um, did you spit in her face? When I was drunk. That's when, that's when we had the CDV charge. That happened one time. One time. One time. See, the worst thing I have ever done to her was spit on her. I've never open fist hit her. I've slapped oh, her. Oh, open fist. Like, like, like middle close fist. Yeah. I've never, I never hit her like that. She's hit me like on Thanksgiving night. She got mad and she got drunk. She was wanting to go out with my sister's friends. I had to be at work at 10 o'clock. It was 4 o'clock in the morning. I begged her not to go. She started hitting me upside my head five or six times, all in the head. I have never hit her like that. Never. But why? Because the most thing, the most thing I have ever, the worst thing I ever done was spit on her. Why That's the worst thing. To, why Take you, me to bed. I ain't never you, been are you, abusive are you, are you to her. Happy? Never been abusive to her. Are you happy never. in this that relationship? Is are you happy? No. No. Are you happy? Well, not, not if she's not happy. No, I'm not asking her. <laughs> You're a big boy. Answer the question. Yes, I'm happy. I You're love happy. the girl to death, man. What's I that? Work, I, I, I love her. I love her. I, I love, I love but the girl to death. But are you happy day in and day out? Yeah. You're so yeah. happy that you got to do all these controlling measures? You don't trust her. It's because I got reasons. It's because okay. I got reasons. Well, that my I don't point trust is, her. if you're not happy and you have reasons to distrust someone, why do you allow them to stay with you? Because I want to make things work, man. I want to make things work. While in a relationship with Denise, have you ever had sexual physical contact with any woman? You said no, and he. At some point after we do all this, you gotta stand up for yourself. You gotta stand up and you gotta do it for yourself. Because I, I can get tough and I can do all kind of things, but you eventually it comes down to you and how strong and how what you're gonna demand for yourself, okay? Uh, Denise, you came here and you took a lie detector test. And we asked you, while in a relationship with Kevin, have you ever had sexual physical contact with any other man? You said no. While in a relationship with Kevin, have you had any sexual physical contact with any other woman? I didn't even know that was, you think she cheats with women? Well, she used to say, she, she said she was a lesbian at one time. When so, I was 12, I experimented with girls. So Steve, you think that on. she's cheating with women? No, I never can tell. She, okay, well, we asked her if she ever had sexual contact with women. She said no. While in a relationship with Kevin, have you ever had sexual intercourse with any other man? She said no. And the results? for her lie detector test, is that she told the truth. I love you, baby. I love you. Now I want his. What's that? I said, now I want his results. Now you want his results. Um, did you tell the truth? Yeah, I know I did. I never, I never slept, with, slept with nobody else while I've been with her. Never. Never even went out with another girl. Never. This is the only girl you've ever been with? Since we've been together, I've never been with another girl. Okay. 
Uh, we asked Kevin, while in a relationship with Denise, have you ever had sexual, physical contact with another woman? We probably should have asked him about the men, too, because it's only fair, right? <laughs> no men, though, right? No. Okay. No. While in a relationship with Denise, have you ever had sexual, physical contact with any other woman? You said no. While in a relationship with Denise, have you ever had sexual intercourse with any other woman? Uh, he responded no to both questions, and he did not tell the truth. Hey. Hey, hey, hold on. Okay. Um, it's, it's big boy time here. Okay. It's not, it's not. It is, it's it not. is, it is. It's not. I've not been with nobody okay. else. Well, I'm, know, I'm going to take another lie detector test because okay. that is wrong. How many times did we give it to you? Many times you want to, because I know that's times, a lie. How many times did we give two, it to you? We gave it to you twice. Tests. Yeah, that's and it. You failed, both, you failed both of them. I don't okay. know about that. We man. gave her the test twice. She passed twice. Okay? Now, you could... No, hold on. You know how many times I've had a guy... Oh, no, that's... You can believe me Hold on. Not. Hold on. As soon as I get him backstage... Hey, man, tell me the truth. Yeah, I did. No, so, I haven't. I haven't. I'm telling you the truth. I have not been with nobody else since I've been with her. You're I'm telling you the truth. You're not telling me the truth. Okay. And your behavior is typical of somebody who's cheating. Okay. You accuse, accuse, accuse. Okay. okay. All right, whatever. That's what you want to believe. That's why you want it. That's why you want to believe that, believe it. I don't care what you want to say. I'm telling you, man. Hold on, hold on, Denise. 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 Denise, come out here. Denise, you need to be strong right now, baby. Come back out here. You need to be strong. Okay. That's a lie. Hold on, baby. hold on. Okay, whatever. Okay. Okay, you took the test, right? Yes, sir, and twice. You, you answered honestly? Yes, sir. And the results came back that you're being an honest person, right? <laughs> Yes, sir. Now, you can sit here and listen to this crap about, oh, it's not true, it's not true, it's not true. Oh, I know, because well, he had a okay. test. Okay, I'm glad, okay. I'm glad that you so what I want to know is, because that is crazy. You know that what? Why don't you throw him off my stage? <laughs> Denise! You go. Okay. I didn't mean physically, but you did a good job. Okay. Okay. You okay? You okay? okay. You're a good person. You're a good woman. There's a guy out there with that. You know what? You've had two guys that have mistreated you, taken advantage of you, and have abused you. Only you can really make that stop. You know what? The first time somebody does something like that, don't give them a second chance. You say no, okay? Now, unfortunately, a lot of times, people say, oh, yeah, I'm going to be tough, Steve. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave him or her, and I'm going to make the right decision, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is a game we play on the show, but it's the game of life. Right. This, is, this is the real game. And out that door is the son of a bitch that you've been living with that's been abusing you, okay? That's what out that door. If you're going to go back home and cook his favorite meal and go to bed when he wants to go to bed, and only talk to who he wants you to talk to, and continue to accuse you, because you know that's never going to end. Never. Or you could go out that door and say, you know what, Steve? I'm going to go out this door. And I don't know what's out that door, but what I know what's not out that door is what's out that door. <laughs> I hope you stay strong.
my wife and I want to give her everything I can to get her back. Six weeks ago, she told me she wanted to leave me for somebody else. How do you know that she has a boyfriend? Because she brings him over. I asked his permission if I could take his old lady out, and he said yes. Well, up until today, I thought they were friends. And what happens next? She tells me I have to sleep on the couch. You sleep on the couch, and he's sleeping in bed with your wife. Mm -hmm. You thought they were such good friends that he'd be okay with this guy. Let me say, I got mad respect for this guy because he... as you're shutting the bedroom door, are you afraid of this guy now? Be honest with you, yeah. He's scared of him. He shouldn't be. I'm not gonna let anything happen to him. He's hurting that you're coming over and being with his wife while he's there. You have no respect for that. No. Nope. You know what? It must be. If easy. he ain't got to stand up and fight for what's his, then I'm gonna take it. This is the guy that you pick while you're still married. Welcome to the show. My guest is Tars. Is that correct? Yes. And why are you here? Because I'm losing my wife and I want to do everything I can to get her back. You're losing your wife and you want to do anything you can to get her back. Yes. Why are you losing your wife? Because six weeks ago, she told me she wanted to leave me for somebody else. How long have you been married? We've been together for five years, been married for four. And until six weeks ago, how was your marriage? Well, she says as of three years ago, she didn't love me, uh, wasn't in love with me no more, but... And she just told you that recently? Yeah, and then, but in December is when she got with Mike, which is her boyfriend now. But what I'm trying to understand is why she waited so long if she went, fell out of love me, with me three years so ago. So you're still married to her? Yes, and we're Are still living in the same house. That was my next question. You're still living with her? Yes. And we she now has another boyfriend? Yes. And how do you know that she has a boyfriend? Because she brings him over. And I ask her not to. She brings him over to your house. Mm -hmm. And what happens next? You know, I ask her to please leave, but she said it's her house too. And I don't really want to fight with her in front of my kids because they don't deserve to see that. So I just try to either go in a different room or something. You go in another room while your wife's you know, boyfriend is over at your house? With my kids. I asked her to, to leave and she said she don't, he doesn't have to. Why wouldn't you say, you know what? You got a boyfriend? Guess what? I'm never sleeping with you another night again. I, I, I haven't slept with her since January, so, and I won't ever. That, listen, I understand, and I understand, like, you don't want to get violent in front of your children. That's a good thing. But I, I'm like, man, how do you control yourself? Another guy's in your house with your wife? I'm not a violent person. Um, I think I'd become one. <laughs> I mean, does he go in your bed? Actually, he, she tells me I had to step on the couch and yeah. Okay. Okay. So this guy, you sleep on the couch and he's sleeping in bed with your wife. Mm hmm. All right. <laughs> You gotta tell me what's going on. I mean, why, why, is, why are you allowing that to happen? Here, here, stand up for a second. Turn this way, I want, I want you to talk to me. There you go. Why, why is that happening? Why is it happening? I can't force her to want to stay with me. I mean, I tell her if she wants, you know. No, you know, here's the deal. I'm sure it hurts you, right? Yes, it does every day. In fact, it's gotta tear you up. It does every day and it tears my kids up too. Uh, right. I mean, your kids, they see another guy in the house, he's not daddy, and he's laying in bed with mommy. Mm -hmm. This guy comes over and he says, hey, Tars, I mean, does he even acknowledge that her, her, his girlfriend's husband is home? Yeah, and don't care. Was she always this mean to you, or? No. And you had a loving relationship with this woman? Yeah, um, I guess she started seeing him in December 24th. Christmas Eve? Uh-huh. Where did she were, meet him on Christmas Eve? Um, I get, they used to be boyfriend and girlfriend before, like eight years ago. Okay. And I guess they met back up on my, my on MySpace. So then um, they were, I guess, seeing each other, and I didn't know it until she came to me one time after New Year's and said that she kissed him and made out with him. And then she told me, and I'm like, I didn't really know exactly what to do. I told her, you know, you need to break it off. I love you. I'll forget about it. And then she, she told me she broke it off. And then I didn't even know they were, she never broke it off with them until she called, until 
get, we're going to come on the show. So she never broke it off with him? Nope. Even the fact that she said, I made out with another guy, were you able to forget about it? No, it's always in my mind. And he's always in your bed now. <laughs> Are you afraid of this guy at all? To be honest with you, yeah. He scared him. He shouldn't be. I'm not going to let anything happen to him. You know what? It must be If easy. he ain't got to stand up and fight for what's his, then I'm going to take it. This is the guy that you pick while you're still married? You ever cheat on her? She thinks I did, but I didn't. I even took a lie detector test to prove it. Were you a good husband to her? Yeah, as far as I'm aware of, yeah. I, well, you know if you're a good well, husband yeah, I or am. not. I've done everything I can for her. And good father? Yeah. Any reason why she would do this to you? Mm, no, she told me that if she ever was going to do anything, she'd let me know first, but she never did. I told her if she wanted to do something, she could at least divorce me first before she'd cheat on me. Why does she? Why, why don't you get divorced? Um, she wanted to get a divorce because he plans on proposing to her here. Let me ask you something, Tars. This might be a tough question for you, especially, you know, if you're on TV. Are you afraid of this guy at all? To be honest with you, yeah. No, I mean, listen, we all have our fears and sometimes they're hard to deal with, right? I think everybody, if they're honest with themselves, Everybody has a fear, and we all deal with them in different ways. Because I was always brought up where fighting is not the answer. So I've never been in fights like my whole life, ever. Yeah. Sometimes, though, you got to fight, though. Yeah. And you know what? You know what? Because it's, on the show. What's that? That's why I came on the show to try to, to fight. Well, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm going to help you. I'm going to stand yeah. by you. So. Yeah. Be because maybe yeah. they're using that against you. You know what I'm saying? If they know you're not going to fight, if you're not going to do anything, maybe that's why she doesn't divorce you. Maybe that's why she brings this guy in and, and goes to the bed and makes you sleep on a couch because... Maybe she knows, he knows that you're not going to do anything. If there's, if there's no consequences to your actions, people are going to do whatever they want. You know, they're going to walk all over you. Yeah. And sometimes you got to stand up and say, as you can today on my stage, because I will stand with you, you say, I'm, I'm not going to let you treat me this way anymore. And this guy, how does, how does he treat your wife? Not that good because he's already put hands on her. And I have never, ever have. You're witness to this? I was at work, but she told me and the kids saw it. You? Okay. You ever put your hands on your wife? No, ever, and I wouldn't ever. If you could have anything you want happen on the show today, what would you want happen? A family. You'd want her back? Our complete family, because the kids always ask me all the time, why can't we have our family back? Let's bring Rebecca out. I tell you every day, get over it. Let it go. I've been telling you that for weeks and weeks. I've been telling you all the time for months why I've been unhappy with you. Have I or have I not? I've tried breaking it off with you, and how do you react when I do? Get upset. And? Start crying. Uncontrollably for days, right? Yeah. I didn't expect me to just go over five years. I know that it's only been six weeks, and five years is a lot to do in six weeks, but why, Tars? Why are things not the same? Instead of pointing all the blame on me, why are things not the same? 
because you think I cheated on you and I didn't? It's more than that. And you say I'm not a good dad? Who spends all the time with the kids? Who gives the kids the hug, says I love you at night, tucks them in? Do you do any of that? Yes. Do you hug your kids for no reason to tell them that you love them or play with them for no reason without me telling you to? Not all the time. No, but you lately, don't. I have been more. But you try after it's too late. I have to force you to be a parent. You want to sit up here and act like you're the good guy? Really? I've been trying my best, but it's not good enough for you. I have had all the burden of being mom and dad. Always. Rebecca, let's say you're right. Let's say everything that you just said is the truth. You really need two men at once? Um, actually, we have a situation worked out where he's going to save money and I'm going to get a job so he can move out because the kids are staying with me. You're living with your husband, right? Yes. And you have another man come and sleep in your bed and you have your husband sleep twice on the couch? Twice he slept in my bed. How twice. Is th th twice is too many. Well, up until today, I uh, thought they were friends. You thought they were such good friends that he'd be okay with this guy. You know, he's hurting that you're coming over and being with his wife while he's there. You have no respect for that? No. Nope. What message are you sending to your children when you have the father sleeping on the couch and some strange man they sleeping don't know in your that. bed? How do you mean they don't know that? They don't know that. How old are your kids? Five, four, three, and two. Do you keep them chained in the basement? No, when he stays the night, my kids are already in bed asleep. They don't oh, know Oh, I get it. There. Your kids are the only ones that never get up in the middle of the night. No, they do get up in the middle of the night, and I go get up with them. I go to them. Because are they night. like my kids, and they come into my bedroom, and they wake me up? Yeah, but they didn't do it when he was there. Oh, okay. Tars. They wake up every night. Yeah. Did they do it when he was there and come to our room with us? So you're saying what? They're on Baby Ambient or something when Tar your boyfriend's over? No, they don't wake up. Yet. How do you bring another man into your house to sleep in your bed when your husband's there? Well, up until today, I thought they were friends, from my understanding. <laughs> You really thought they were friends? He's always been nice to him. He's never said anything to him. He's scared of him. He shouldn't be. I'm not going to let anything happen to him. Has your boyfriend ever hit you? Hit me, no. Pushed me, yeah. Tars ever push you? No. So how are you going to protect him when this guy's pushing you around? In all defense, he took a new medication that he never took before. I mean, no normal person, or not even, maybe you're normal, but no person with any kind of respect for marriage, have a heart for somebody, would do that. You have children together, and you bring another man into your house while your marriage isn't even over yet? What the hell is that? That was my fault, and I tell him every day I'm sorry for that. I can't change it. If I could it's change it, like I would. It's not like you went out to a bar, got drunk, went out to the car, and had a hoedown. No. You're, this, is, this, is, this is your house. This is where your children are. How do you do that? Like I said, from my understanding, they were friends. He drives what, his what? car. Hey, listen, you're telling me that you're, you thought your husband was friends with your boyfriend? Yeah. He drives his car. Everything. You, you, need you really thought store. these guys were friends? From my knowledge, yes. Because from your I knowledge, told and them you from thought the it was friendly, he th You thought they were such good friends that he'd be okay with this guy. Well, of course not. <laughs> Using his car, using his wife, what else? How, how, where, where's the friendship end? Friends like with I've benefits, told the both I guess. of them, if they cannot get along with each other, then there will be how, no meeting. Not get along with each other. Guy. What man is going to get along with their wife's boyfriend? Well, when it involves kids, you kind of have to. No, no. <laughs> No, no, you don't. 
If my wife had a boyfriend, guess what? I'm not getting along with him. I'm kicking his ass. I know what I'm doing is messed up. I get it. I totally well, get it. Well, if you it, know you're doing what, what you're doing is messed up, why are you doing it? This isn't some bum. This is the father of your children. This is the father of your children. What's that? He hasn't been a father, and that's a big part of you our problem. You chose to have children with them, right? You made a decision, right? It wasn't, you know, yeah. I could say one. Oh, would it mean for that to happen? Everybody likes to use that excuse, but two children? He must have been good at some point, enough to have two children with. He was up until three years with. ago, until okay. our last daughter was born. Okay, okay. and then you Which say... Which is where everything started going bad. Well, then why don't you drag your ass out of that house with your kids if he won't leave? Why don't you call the police and say, I want this guy out of here? Because I don't think it's fair that my kids have to leave their own house. Well, it's not fair for him to deal with a boyfriend who's pushing his wife around in his own house. <laughs> At some point, Tars, you got to stand up and you got to say how you're feeling. Let me say, I got mad respect for this guy because he... As you're shutting the bedroom door? <laughs>well, you know what? At some point, Tars, you got to stand up and you got to say how you're feeling. <laughs> Ever since you told me, I've been feeling like crap. And I just think it was wrong that you could at least told me that you were going to do something instead of just doing it behind my back. Because I just found out recently that you didn't break it off with them. And that really upset me. And then you guys expect... And then he... Ex expects me to get over it like five years for nothing and I'm just tired of everything being pushed around. What about when you cheated in the beginning of our relationship? That was before we even got married. It since doesn't matter. We were still together. Since you still been married, cheated. Since, since we've been, been married, I have not. I even took a lie detective test to prove it. You still cheated, Tars, whether we were married at that point or not, you still cheated. So how are you going to act all innocent like you've never done anything to me to hurt me that I haven't forgotten? You know about After. this? After long, he did it. How long after? About a week. A week? Mm -hmm. And then you still decided to marry him? Yep. So you forgave him then? I forgave him, but I never forgot. Okay, but you're going into a marriage. You had the knowledge of it, right? And you yep. got married. And then you proceeded to have two children? Mm-hmm. At some point, you must have got over it. Aren't your children bigger than anything that he did in the past? I always put my kids first. Do you always put your kids first? Yep. Sounds like you put your boyfriend first. No, my kids... My kids Do you love your boyfriend? First. Yes. And what's your plans with him? Depends on where things go. And what about your husband? Do you love him? Not in the same way. How do you love your husband? I love him like I care about him, and I'm always going to love him. We have kids together, but I'm not in love with him. There's a difference. Hey, I'm not talking. You know what? I can't argue with that. I can't say you're a bad person because you're not in love with him but I certainly think you're handling this in a horrible, horrible way. <laughs> Have you had sex with your husband since you've been with this other guy? Not since January. So you were seeing him and, and you had sex with your husband? And how did that help? I didn't. That's kind of like the selfish part, right? He's saying that he took a lie detector test before the show, and he's admitted that when you guys were dating and you broke up, he slept with somebody else. You know that already. Mm -hmm. But he was given a test, lie detector test. Since you've been married,
have you cheated on Rebecca? You answered no. And five years of being married, he told the truth. He's never cheated on you. Do you, Tars, do you have a job? Yes, I do. What, what do you do? I take care of the mentally disabled. You take care of the mentally disabled? Mm -hmm. and, and how often do you work? I work anywhere. From, I just started it, so I don't work anywhere from 20 to 32 hours a week. So you work, right? Mm -hmm. you, provi you, know, you provide for your family? Yeah, and whenever I don't have that, I try to do side work, whatever I can get. Even with all this nonsense of you sleeping with another guy, he still goes out and provides for you. You don't feel guilty about taking the money? He doesn't spend it on me, we spend it on the children. It you don't get any of that money? No. You don't eat any of that food? Food, yeah. Well, that's like a parent. Well, that's kind of like I him do all supporting the cooking, you? the cleaning, and I do everything. Yeah, but you also got another man that you're getting enjoyment from. <laughs> He goes out, he makes a living, you're living on, on that, his work, and then you repay it by not even waiting till you're divorced, you start sleeping. Why wouldn't you wait till you got divorced? In all honesty, the first night that I hung out with him... Let me guess, drunk. I don't even remember it. I was told and I don't even remember You don't, you don't even remember no? it. I was... yeah. So, so what are you saying? It was rape? No. I just don't remember it. I was completely drunk. How do you know you did it? From what I was told. By who? And from a couple pictures that I saw. There's, I was a horse. Who took the pictures? He did. Oh, that's, cl that's classy. He did. Let's meet this classy guy. Let's bring him out. I asked his permission if I could take his old lady out, and he said yes. So you know what? Get over it. He's hurting that you're coming over. But being with his wife while he's there, you have no respect for that? Nope. Let's meet this classy guy. Let's bring him out. What's up, Steve? You, you know you're not going to touch him, right? Yeah. Okay, you understand that? Yeah. I'm not going to allow that. I, I made a promise to the record. No no, what, first of all, what, what is your name? My name is Mike, and first off, no matter what you would allow, I promised Rebecca when we first got together that I would never put hands on him. First the reason, of all, don't swear on my stage. Sorry. The reason I called your show is because I started some new medication and blacked out. Last, I, last thing I remember was her putting me to bed and me waking up at the hospital parking lot. Were you taking that medication the first night you slept with her? No. So you were just on alcohol? The first night, we were both on alcohol. Okay, and I want to know the, the Well, actually, no. The first night we were hanging out, her was in the hospital. Oh, that's nice. And I went up and I seen her at the hospital. Okay, but the night that you were with her, she was drunk, you had sex with her, she doesn't, she says herself, she doesn't remember it, and you're taking pictures of it. Um, I wasn't the one taking pictures, and I don't remember the pictures until Who was the taking next morning. pictures? <laughs> at the house that we were oh, at. That's... <laughs> You picked the real winner. Yeah. In the hospital and she's calling you. Yeah. Maybe she needed some consolement because he apparently he couldn't give it to her. And it's not like I went in the hospital and gurney, you know? I went there and Why was <laughs> not around? Probably not. And it's not like I don't care about this man's feelings. How many times have I held you in my arms while oh, you cried, oh, oh, oh. While you see, cried on hey, my shoulder? Hey, hey, what? Hey, hey, what? Hey, what? I'll tell you what. Tell me, what? How do you go in another man's house and sleep with his wife with him there? How do you do that? Very easily. You're, you know what? It must be if easy. If he ain't got to stand up and fight for what's his, then I'm going to take it. And you know what? Like you said, if, if that was your wife, check it out. If Becca was your wife, then you'd be beating my ass, okay? Yeah, because I'll do anything correct. for her. Well, you know, it's lucky that you guys ain't married, huh? 
Lucky for who? You or me? <laughs> and, and in Tar's defense, let me say. In Tar's it, defense? Yeah, let me say, I got mad respect for this guy. You got and, mad respect? Yeah, because he, As you're shutting the bedroom door? <laughs> When she told him that he wanted a divorce, I asked his permission if I could take his old lady out, and he said yes. So you know what? All your, you know what? Get over it. Just get over it, huh? Yeah, just get over it. Just get over it. Yeah, and back to what I was saying about the mad respect. The mad respect. Yeah, mad respect. Get over it! Now, let's get back to that mad respect. <laughs> What's what's mad respect? Tell me about mad respect. Mad respect is because even though he's in the situation he is in, he is still the man that takes care of his kids. Because I'm not trying to replace him or take his place. I cannot be the kids' dad. Okay. So is he a good father? Not really, but he provides for him. And and you know, where's the that, part of not being a good father? Um, there's no love. There's no affection. That's all he does is provide for him. Why wouldn't you say to her? You know what? Until you get divorced from this man that's providing for you, I'm going to take a step back. I'm not going to go into that man's house while he's supporting his family because it would be disrespectful. He disrespects himself. So what? What is it of your business if he disrespects himself? I don't care about him. I tried being his friend. You don't care about him, but you show him mad respect and you try being his friend. Yeah. Which is it? It's all of that. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I say I'm not the smartest guy. Hey, I'm not, I'm not coming on your stage saying I'm the smartest guy on the planet or I'm, um, you know. You don't have know, to say it. Well, whatever. <laughs> Ooh, that hurts my heart. No, 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 you can't leave. I can't. Okay. You can't. No. Tars. That's what he does. Shut up. I just had to walk off for Shut a second. Up. Shut up. I'm fighting for you right now. I can't fight for you if you're going to run away from me. We're partners here, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> kind of like the two of you are supposed to be partners in a marriage. No matter what your problems are in this marriage, and I understand, you're not in love. Believe me, I understand. You're not in love with the man. But this is the guy that you're picking to come into your house, to come in where your children are sleeping. This is the man that you're picking to lay down in bed while your kids are sleeping. This is the guy that you pick while you're still married. Why? Because he's from the past? No, because he makes me smile. He makes me laugh. He makes the kids laugh. He gives the kids attention. He does everything that he doesn't do other than provide. Other than provide. That's a big one. Well, it is a big one, but when it comes to kids, there's more to it than just providing for them. When they don't no, feel there loved is. by there's, their father. There's a lot more to it. And, then they come and you know what it is? Me, it's leading an example for your children too, right? Yeah. You know what? what? You will waste no more time on my stage. Get the hell off of oh. me! Go! <laughs> Wouldn't you say it negatively impacts your children when you bring another man other than the father to sleep in your bed while daddy is sleeping on the couch? I've talked to my kids about it. My kids know exactly what's going on. And you the don't two think, younger ones you don't, think don't have that's a bad clue, thing. really. You don't think that's a bad thing? No, but I'm not going to lie to them. You're they not going to lie to them. They know mom and dad aren't in love anymore, and they know that mom and dad are not going to be together. Why wouldn't you leave and go to his house and let your husband sleep in his own bed with your children then? I'm sorry? Because my kids cry for me. 
I'm not going to leave my children. They cry for me. When they cry, I want to be there. And what if you meet somebody else on MySpace tomorrow? He's coming over too? No, it's not like it was just some random person. It was somebody that I've known for a long time. You've known him for a long time. You know she slept with him after she started seeing you, right? Yeah. But we weren't, we weren't seeing each other. We didn't, we didn't say, hey, we're going out. We're just having yeah. sex. We didn't even have sex then. What do you want to say to him? And you don't have to be afraid or scared. I just want him to leave my family alone. So, because my so kids. You got, you, listen, you got to talk to this guy. You got to, you got to look the bully in the eye sometimes. First off, I'm no bully. Yeah, you are. Whatever. You are. You can a bully. think what you want. Dog. Whatever. Whatever. You gonna sing that song? Sure. The song of the coward. You gonna do backup vocals? It's the for song me? of the coward. Yeah, well, I won't do backup vocals for you. Yeah, I know. You don't do backup for nobody. Look, bro, oh. check it out. I told you. Oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I have to address that. I don't back up anybody. No, I said you don't sing backup vocals for anybody. I'm the one that called you to come on the show to you ask for your me. help. And why would I help a guy like you? Why would you help a guy like yeah, me? Yeah, why would I help a guy like you? I asked this fool's permission. Okay? After and she I said, said when I after I said, well, we got divorced. No, you said, said. She, you said she asked me for a divorce, and she's serious this time. She, and what did I say? Oh, bro, I'm sorry to hear about that. You don't mind if I date her, do you? After and what did you divorced. say? What did you say, after Tars? We get what did you say? After we get divorced. What did you I, say? After we get divorced. What did you say? I said, That's I said, you said, I don't care. After, I don't care. After we get That's divorced, what you said. After we get divorced, I don't Whatever. care what she does. You why don't would, have to keep getting would, between hey, us. I'm not going to charge him or nothing, really. Well, I'm just making sure. Why wouldn't you demand, as a man, why wouldn't you demand and say, you know what, if you want to be with me, then you get divorced or you come be with me. I'm not going to go into your house with your family there. I demand, I demand that you have mad respect, have mad respect for me and come be with me. <laughs> you know, I keep hearing it about the children. I keep hearing, that's why you're not doing that because of the children. That's why she's not leaving the house to be with you, because of the children. Could you do anything worse to those children than do by your actions, by what you're doing right now? That's really a selfish act for the children? I don't think so. Our, I think you're being actions. selfish for yourself. Well, that's what you think. No, that's what I know. No, you don't even know. I do know because I'm hearing the story from your mouth. <laughs> Selfish for me to I think it's selfish when a married woman shares a home with her husband and brings some guy into the home. I think that's selfish. <laughs> Do you still really want to be with her? No. I would. I, I don't Good. know why you would. About so the crying and the whining's over with? Shut up. Seriously? I see the love between the two of you. I see the love. I see the respect for each other, too. No, it's, I don't like him being pissed off at him for something that we did to him. He has no right to be mad over it, which me and him argue about. That's not what I'm mad at. I'm mad at that he whines and cries, which affects your emotions, which affect my emotions because I care so how you feel. So it all boils feel. back to you then and not... No, it has nothing to do with Once me. Once again, it goes back to the point of his feelings are valid. And he I'm has a totally right to be cool. whiny and crying and upset and pissed off. Exactly. Everybody's emotions are valid. What about his? They're valid. He's hurting that you're coming over. He's hurting that you're coming in and being with his wife while he's there. You have no respect for that? No. Nope. Here's your chance. You say whatever you want, this is not gonna change. The truth of it is, if she doesn't love you, it's not gonna change. She's saying, she loves you, she cares about you, she's not in love with you. What, what you're allowing to happen, no, nobody, not a man, not a woman, should allow it to happen. No person should be able to come in and violate your home. The one place that we should have where we could feel safe, 
and not bothered and having creeps come through our front door is home. You spare... Oh, by the way, you like pushing women around? Like I said, that's why I called the show. Oh, did you want me to help you with your anger problem? You like pushing women? No, I don't. You have a, you have a problem with pushing no, women? No, I don't. I felt like about it. That's why I called your phone or called your show so I could talk to her and let her know that that was the first time I ever took that medication. I don't remember doing it. And I swatch your mouth. Sorry. And that to swear to her that it would never happen again. That's why you called the show because you pushed her? Yeah. That's exactly why I called the well, show. Well, then, what did you want to happen? Tell her. Tell her how you're feeling about that. We've talked about this, and I've told you. And it was you know more what? than pushing. I don't remember. It was more than pushing. He didn't hit me. He tried to, but he missed. I don't remember. Oh, did he swing at you? And, and what did I tell you? That I would never put another pill in my mouth for as long as I lived because of what happened. So did you duck out of the way, or he just missed? Ducked. You ducked. So if you didn't duck, he would have connected with you, with his fist. You think that that's going to be the last time it happens? You're fooling yourself. No, I know it will be. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I got a long experience rap sheet with this, with guys that put their hands on women, and they say, oh, it'll never happen again. Guess what? You'll be giving me a call in three days. He got pissed off about something on a show, something yeah, this, whatever. something that. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. I love that. You That's don't know oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've no, only, you don't know I've me. only You've not, known me for what? I've 15 only not, minutes? Really? I know guys just like oh, you. Oh, yeah, just like me. Yes. Whatever. You don't know me, dude. I don't have to know you. I know guys, oh, guys like you. Guys and like I've me. locked up a lot like of guys me. like you, and I put them in jail well, good. because they can't keep their hands to themselves. Good. That's yeah. why I called the show, because this will never happen. I never put my hands on oh, her. Oh, would ever. you like me to lock you up? <laughs> you know what? What? You're a coward. Yeah, whatever. Use a blame it on whatever. Keep singing it. Whatever, whatever, was... whatever. There you go. Yeah. You what? know what? You will waste no more time on my stage. Get the hell off of oh. me. Go! Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Get off my stage. I'm walking. Go. Stop walking. I'll kiss you. Anything at all you want to say to this woman? I love you. I always will. I don't think I can take you back. I just want to be able to make sure I get to see my kids. First of all, I've told you and I've been pushing you to be a part of their life, so that's not going to be a problem. Second of all, I didn't ask for you to take me back, so get that straight. Didn't ask you. Tars, you should go. Show's over. You can go be with your children. I hope things work out for you, but no going forward. Sometimes you got to stand up for yourself, okay? Yeah. Go out you know what, Rebecca? I think deep down, I don't think you're a bad person. I've had much worse on my show, but what I, what I don't get is how you could be so disrespectful to somebody that you bring children into the world with. No matter what your feelings are, what you're doing now, if you really thought about it, what you're doing is really bad right now. It's, it, that's a bad thing. And honestly, and I'm saying this as a father who's raising children. I'm not saying this as talk show host, policeman, anything. I'm talking from a father to a mother right now. I'm scared for your kids. I really am. You continue seeing that guy right there, you're going to have major, major problems. Like there's always some let me, that's let what me, you don't get. Listen, I believe that, but you know what? I also understand when relationships fall apart, sometimes people turn to their past looking for something that they're familiar with. There's a reason why people are in your past. There really is. And going back there and revisiting it, not usually a good thing. And especially with this guy. And I told you, let me tell you something. That medication excuse for pushing you and swinging his fist at you, 
There's no medication in the world that's taking his fist and closing and swinging at your head. Again, nobody's blaming you for not being in love. Nobody's blaming for you to want to be happy and find somebody else in your life. It happens to people, but there's a way about going about it. And there's a way with doing it with some respect for the partner, respect for the father of your children. And there's also respect for your children. You say you put your children first, then honestly, have respect for yourself and your children and don't stay with a guy that would put his hands on you. and everything, my American dream. White picket fence, the house, kids, husband. And he was gonna leave me two days before he found out I was pregnant. I think she's keeping the baby from me because she found out that I have a girlfriend. She was 17 and he was 30. And she pretty much wants me back. Do you still love this guy? Of course. Once me and Tanya started dating, I did not hook back up with Mindy at all. Before the show, you took a lie detector test? Yes, I did. You ruined my life! Lots of babies with me, Michael. Did you ever abuse her? Never. You never hit me? Or when you took your hand on the side of my face and slammed it into the wall, that's not hitting me? I'm not jealous of your girlfriend. He is so hurt by the fact that he can't see his son. I don't know Mindy or Tanya. I'm <laughs> Mindy didn't call the show. Your girlfriend called because you were so hurt. Did you cheat on Tanya with Mindy? You answered no. And the results of your lie detector test are that. Welcome to the show. My guest is Mindy. Mindy, tell me why you're here. I'm here because my son's father doesn't want to pay child support after being together for three and a half years and trying for six months to have my son. He no longer wants to be a part of my life, and that's fine, but he expects to see his son and not pay f help me financially. Was he happy that you got pregnant and you had a baby? He, when I told him I was pregnant, he was completely blank-faced, and he looked at me and he goes, well, I guess we better start preparing then. That was his reaction, no? Yeah, not. I said, that's all you have to say? Did you plan on having the baby? Did, yes, you, did you guys months. talk about it? And so, so you yeah. guys were trying. Yeah, we were going to get married and everything. I and wanted then, my American dream. White picket fence, the house, kids, husband. Does he t give you a reason why he's breaking up with you? He doesn't want to try anymore. He's tried too long. And so before you had the baby, was your relationship good? I thought it was, but according to him, he was going to leave me two days before he found out I was pregnant. But you were happy. I was. Going along, yes. guys treating you good. For the most part. I mean, we had our bad times. We've had a physical past, but that ended once we started trying to have a baby. And, yeah, I mean, he emotionally put me down. He belittled me. Was he paying child support for a time? No, he didn't start paying child support till November. So. And then all of a sudden, he stopped paying. Yeah, he was supposed to start paying $200, but he said he couldn't pay $200 um, biweekly because he couldn't afford it. So I said, okay, I'll work with you. You know, we're parents, we're supposed to be a team with our son. I'll work with you. You could pay me $150 for now, but come December, I want you to pay me $200. December came, and he didn't want to do it anymore. He figured he didn't have to. He could control me because he's always controlled me. Do you still love this guy? Of course. So... What's what's he doing now? I guess he's moving into a new apartment with his new girlfriend on Friday. He's got a new girlfriend. Yeah. He had a new girlfriend while he still had me as a girlfriend. So while you guys were still together, he was dating his other girl. Yeah, and she was 17 at the time. He's just turned 31. He was 30 at the time. How do you know he was seeing this girl while he was still with you? <laughs> she told me they'd been together for four months which would have put him back with me. When was the last time you were with him? Uh, two weeks after mid-December. I came back from Ohio and we had slept together twice. So he's now cheating on his present girlfriend, according yeah. to you. Well, <laughs> here's, you know, I know you love him and everything, but if he breaks up with you and he hurts you with this other girl and now he's with her, 
Why would you sleep with him then? I didn't know. You didn't know at the time that he was with his no, other No, I didn't find out till Christmas Eve. And is he a good father to your son? He takes good care of him when he's in his presence, but he doesn't support him, so he, he lets him go without. My family's been buying him diapers and wipes. They've been taking care of us. And what, why do you think he doesn't send you to child support? Because he just doesn't have the money, or? No. He says it's because he's not able to see his son, but that's why he's not able to see his son. Now, his girlfriend, she's only 18, but she's the one who called the show <laughs> saying you won't let him see, see his son. Is this true? I guess. It's none of her business. Why? It's not her kid. Why is she even bothering to call? Right. He should be calling, if anything. It has nothing to do with her. She needs to butt out of our business. You ruined my life! All I've ever asked you is be in love with me and have lots of babies with me, Michael. Did you ever abuse her? Never. You never hit me? Or when you took your hand on the side of my face and slammed it into the wall, that's not hitting me? And the results of your lie detector test are that Listen, I understand there's a lot of hurt feelings when people break up. And I understand, especially when you're still drawn to that person. You still want to be with that person. I under, believe me, I understand that. But by not letting him see his son, aren't you kind of like punishing your son a little bit? My son doesn't know the difference. His what? My son doesn't know the difference. Even he, when his father was around, he wasn't. He's, he's one year old. I mean, babies do know who their, their fathers are and they're around, and if he, he was there, right? Okay, yeah. He barely saw his son. While you were he, living together? He, he Mm-hmm. <laughs>